scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Worship the Lamb. Father, we honor you. It's a privilege to be here. We bless you, Jesus. 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 Can we lift our hands and honor him? Jesus is in this place. He's alive in this place. Let's bless his name. Let's bless his name. Give him all the praise. Give him all the glory. We worship you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's hold our hands together and pray in the spirit just for a few minutes to open up our spirit. Let's connect as a family of faith, all those following us online. Just join us as we pray in the spirit. We have come before the God that can change men. We have come before the God that can turn lives around. Are you praying in the spirit koinonia?
for using this venue today again um, especially to those in the second overflow sorry for all the noise the Lord will bless us for our sacrifice in the name of Jesus um, we do these things because we love Jesus and there are four dimensions to love that you must never forget. This for somebody may be the word for you. Whenever you say you love someone, whenever you talk about the expressions of love, when you break love, there are four components that make love. Number one is passion. There cannot be love, true love, when there is no passion. Passion. When you love someone, there must be passion. Extreme, unashamed passion. Number two, commitment. Even when your passion fails, commitment should not fail. Commitment. You have entered a covenant with yourself to remain faithful and to remain vulnerable regardless of your emotions. That's commitment. Commitment has nothing to do with desire. It has everything to do with a vow. A vow for continuity. You may not guarantee that you will be passionate at the same level at all times. But a covenant keeps you committed. Are we together? Number three, sacrifice. The third description of love is sacrifice. There cannot be love without sacrifice. Those in love know that one of the things love does to you is it makes you a fool. If you don't become a fool loving properly, then 
that sacrifice it will sting your ego it will sting your reputation but that's the price you have to pay for genuine love and the last key is pleasure love is not all about pain if your love is all about pain check it again love cannot be all about pain so the bible says he daily loads us with benefits i want you to check these four things against your christian work if all you have received in your life is sacrifice and pain you have a right to demand the other dimensions and say lord i can't suffer forever there's got to be a morning after seasons of night so there are times when we enjoy his power there are times when the joy of the lord fills our heart there are times when we will have to cry all on account of our love for him there are times when we will have to seek him regardless of our emotional feeling let me tell you something when you pursue god emotionally you will be in for a shock because there are times uh, that life may not give you the best expression to love God emotionally. Are we together? So you've got to say, Lord, I am crying. In the midst of disappointment, in the midst of all of these things, I cannot say I'm passionate about you tonight, but I'm committed. Are we together? That's the heart and the spirit of a lover. I love you. I can never ever do without you. I love you, Lord. I can never ever do without you. I love you. I love you. I can never ever do without you. How I love to worship you And how I love to stand for you It's my song to Him And even though it hurts me For every step I take And even though it pains me For every move I made, but I love you. I can never ever do without you. I love you. I can never ever do without you. Yes, I love you. I love you. There are blessings that the Bible says are for lovers, not just prayer warriors. It says, no eye has seen. Have you read that in your Bible? No ear has heard. Neither has it come into the heart of any man what God has in store. Not for them that shout, I love you, I love you. Them mean it. Those who are serious addicts of God. May that happen to you tonight. In the name of Jesus. Now, very quickly, before we hear what the Lord has for us tonight, I'm holding in my hand a, a catalog of all koinonia messages right from 2011. And um, I just felt in my spirit to guide us for a minute or two on how to maximize the benefits of these teachings every single one of these teachings are powerful revelatory and will bless us but only if we know how to take advantage of them there are very few people here who can boast of having heard all of them and having listened to them again say amen there are so many messages. In fact, while I was going through the list, um, I was in awe myself because I can't begin to imagine that all these teachings touching different areas from family life, spiritual growth, prayer, faith, 
our victory in Christ, passion for glory, the counsel of God, the kingdom, the Holy Spirit, you know, podcasts and so on and so forth, teaching on persecutions, um, the world system, prophecies, um, you know, the body of Christ and so on and so forth, the Holy Spirit, you can, I mean, did you know that you can just pick these teachings literally even if you never had an encounter with a man of God you can pick these teachings and stay with them and you will encounter God in very solid ways you heard the testimony of that gentleman our brother about to commit suicide frustrated in his life and just one message walking in purpose see the, the unique thing about these messages is aside from the thoughts the unique dimensions of the teachings there is an anointing upon the messages that will achieve the same results regardless of what is being talked about so you can be listening to a teaching on relationship are we together and you find out that you are healed the anointing doesn't care that is relationship the moment your faith is released and there is an infirmity in your body the anointing was designed to reproduce the garden of Eden in your life. So whilst your mind is receiving information uh, as regards finances and whatever it is, the Holy Ghost will not see a sick body and pass. No. For as long as your faith is alive. Are we together now? That's the kind of miracle that happened to our brother. So I want to challenge you. You see, if you want to um, receive this teaching, you have to create first and foremost have a compendium of this i believe that the media department can and should make this available please media make this available to as many people who want to have this copy number two is to if you can group them on your system or your phone or whatever it is create a way of grouping these teachings according to the central thoughts that they communicate you can group them maybe the economic system of the kingdom, financial dominion, and the wealthy place, you know, you can group them. So that when you are trusting God to rise in the area of finances, you will not be studying um, on intimacy with the Holy Spirit. As important as that is, it may not achieve that result. Are we together now? You will be blessed, but you have to break these messages in such a way that they serve their purpose as when needed. So that even when you are giving the messages to people, you are blessing people. If they want everything, you can give them. But there are times when, for instance, someone is telling you, I used to be a pastor, I used to be on fire for God, but right now I'm smoking, I'm drinking, I'm not serious with God. Now, giving that person um, a message on um, maybe a miracle service, it may help the person. But it may not really help the person so much. You will want to give that person a message like the principle of renewal. Are we together? Or why revivals die. Or gaining spiritual stature. That way you will minister more strategically to the person. So every one of us should have this. I'm, I'm sure that the media will have this. And you should have this so that you can go through the teachings. Don't just listen to what is available. There are so many teachings designed to guide us i mean i can begin to talk about we have the eternal counsel of god the multi-dimensional workings of the word um creative power of the spoken word our victory in christ redeeming the time be like him um kingdom advancement kingdom economics one to three you know several other teachings the apostate church fasting and prayer the full gospel Evidence of genuine intimacy, um, prophetic insight to God's agenda, the prize for an extraordinary anointing, the mystery of death and glory, reality of heaven and hell, the secret of sustained glory, envoys of his presence, and then the warfare series now, the weapons of our warfare pulling down stronghold, you know the success and breakthrough series activating breakthrough dominion through excellence supernatural exploits give me this mountain 
um, I mean, there, there are so many. The protocol of an encounter confronting the darkness, the error, the darkness of error and apostasy, um, spiritual timing, reigniting a passion for the Holy Spirit, koinonia, ancient secret to power and relevance, spiritual strategy for renewal, divine direction, the power of hope, the power of preparation, prophetic implication of associations, you will want to listen to that message. The reality of spiritual laws, the faith that works, awake thou that sleepest, I can go on and on and on again. All these teachings were designed to build you. They were designed to build you. Are we together now? And I'm saying it especially for those online, if we can have a, an updated version of the catalog online so that um, those who follow us online, there are thousands of people who follow us online, can have access to this and um, be blessed by them. Every one of these teachings are available and they are all free. It's a price we have made for the body of Christ as our contribution to seeing that the body grows. I want you to stretch your hands in one minute to this and i like us to pray and say, Lord, a fresh anointing upon it. We thank you for what these teachings have been doing to the nations. But in the name of Jesus, a renewed fire. Can you stretch your hands? Lord, we send these teachings afresh to nations, to prisons, to hospitals. Mighty miracles in a fresh dimension. Some of them are old teachings, but we declare a new anointing upon them. In the name of Jesus, we send them to the nations across Asia, across Europe, across the Caribbean, all across Africa. We send them as envoys to God, messengers of encounters, messengers of koinonia. Are you praying? We are praying from here and Lord, we are speaking. All those who have these teachings on their phones, their laptops, the grace to begin to listen to them. Lord, we pray that there be miracles, multiplied miracles, Multiplied miracles, multiplied miracles. We open up the gates of new territories. Hedonistic nations be open to these teachings. The Middle East, Iraq, Iran, Palestine. Let there be men and women, oh God, that will take these teachings. May they bless ministries. May they bless individuals. May they go where we cannot go. We send them as messengers of fire. May they go with the hand of the Lord, the anointing of the Holy Ghost. May kings and nobles listen to this teaching. Let it shape governments. Let it shape territories. In the name of Jesus Christ, we release angels, new angels, assigned to take this teaching. New passion, new zeal. Prophetic evangelists, all across this nation taking these teachings to unreached places hallelujah lord we anoint this i lay my hands upon it on behalf of your people and lord we declare a fresh anointing upon these teachings in the name of jesus a fresh dimension of the workings of the holy ghost upon these teachings let them go far further than we can imagine and produce great wonders in the lives of people in the name of Jesus Christ I like you to shout a big amen shout it again a big amen amen all right pick up your writing materials let's get to the business of the night amen and amen and amen It is God's desire that among the many things that happen to us that we move from one dimension of grace to another. There are seven blessings that Jesus received in redemption and gave them to the church. It says, worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive power, riches, honor, and it lists all of them. A complete and a balanced Christian life. Please pay attention. 
It's a Christian life that has, through the grace of God, accessed all these dimensions. Are we together now? And um, in the last, maybe the last few months, I've been like, I would call it a spiritual archaeologist. There has been such a renewed passion in my heart to study the church, the ecclesia, to study the body of Christ afresh. This strange entity called the body of Christ. I've had a renewed passion to study the body of Christ and to study the untapped riches. Please pay attention. That are locked in in this mysterious entity called the body of Christ. One of the things that I've been sharing with us and we had a revision on that last week is the power of the body. The ability to discern the body the bible tells us in a very uncomfortable way how that the reason why there is a lot of weakness in the body the reason why there is a lot of limitation please listen in the body the reason why we are unable to to um to not represent the full dimension of the glory and the power of god is because we have not been trained largely to discern the body and what it represents. First Corinthians eleven. Let's just look at that scripture. First Corinthians eleven. Don't look at the projector screen. Open your Bible. First Corinthians eleven. If you don't have a Bible, buy one. It's a gold watch setting. Cancel the money for your hair. And buy a Bible. Jordan is in front here. It's available. The shop can be opened after Koinonia. We, we buy nonsense. We buy things that don't contribute overall to our spiritual growth. And we ignore the things that have life. The Bible, listen, Jesus himself giving a parable. He says the kingdom is like a treasure. Listen. Someone had a farm and there was a treasure in that farm. But he did not know what treasure he had. Are we together? And he said, one found that treasure. And when he found that this land had treasure, he went and sold what? Every other thing to raise the money to buy that land. So it's worth it to make whatever sacrifice that will give you access. You see, in the spirit, I'm digressing for a reason. Don't major on the minors and then minor on the majors. There are some things when you hold them, other things must follow. Are you getting the point now? So don't chase foolish and mundane, carnal things. This one thing, when you get it, other things must follow. For instance, the Bible says, get wisdom. Get wisdom. When you get wisdom, with wisdom comes wealth. With wisdom comes security. With wisdom comes divine direction. So, instead of praying for wealth, praying for divine direction, you cry for wisdom. Are we together now? You, you have to learn that certain things in the kingdom are contained in others. By getting certain major things, you get others too. I'll give you an instance. If the governor of Kaduna State is to come to Zaria, for instance, trying to bring the governor, the commissioner, the emir is a very foolish thing. Just try to bring the president. Are we together? In bringing the president, every other person down that cadre must come. Are we together? So when you seek the presence of God, other things follow. When you seek first the kingdom and his righteousness, if you are truly doing that, other things follow. So what you are receiving in Koinonia, listen, I'm saying this because there are people who think we are neglecting certain levels of spiritual growth. You may say, ah, but apostle, why are we not teaching on this dimension and this dimension? What I'm teaching you is a superior dimension. It's a master key. I guarantee you, when you hold it, you will not need to look for other things because they will come. Are we together now? It's very important. Oh God, give me tea. Give me bread. That's the key to frustration. There are certain things when you have, that's the end of it. 
May you have it in Jesus' name. May God open your eyes to have it. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So let's look at 1 Corinthians. I was saying something about the body of Christ. Um, 29 and 30. Thank you. It says, For he that eateth now, he was talking of communion. Right? The holy communion. Paul was helping them. Because um, theologically speaking, many of them, you know, the wines those days did not have a system of preserving it like we do now. So after a while, the wine would become alcoholic. And certain people started helping themselves with that alcoholic wine. So communion, that should just be just a shot of it, enough to help you. Certain people in the body of Christ who were custodians, maybe in the welfare department, started going out of the normal context of communion and they were drinking in the house of the Lord. Are we together? So those who think God did not talk about drinking, here it is. It says, For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, unworthily without respect, foolishly without revelation of what it means. It says, Drinketh unto what? Eateth and drinketh damnation unto himself. But then broadly speaking, it says, Not discerning the Lord's body. So the extended understanding of this is not just the bread and the cup. But that if you do not discern the Lord's body, there is a danger. For this cause, not for many causes, for this singular reason. That God has a body that needs to be discerned for a man to succeed. And the inability to discern that body has produced this. For this cause, how many? How many? It didn't say few. For this cause. The inability to understand this mystery entity called the body of Christ. It says many are weak. The word weak there does not just mean weak like you don't have energy. Trust me. It means weakness in every fashion. It says for this cause many are what? Sick among you. And many sleep. The word sleep there is the word die. It's God speaking to us. That means somewhere in the body of Christ is a key that corrects weakness. Somewhere in the body of Christ is a key that can turn sick people to become healthy. Somewhere in the body of Christ is a mystery that can keep men long. Listen please. There are certain dimensions of spiritual reality that your personal work with God cannot deliver unto you. You have to learn this. Everything is not delivered to you on the platform of your personal altar and work with God. There are certain dimensions of God that only come on account of the corporate release. The, the treasures that come, they are not given to a person. They are only given through a person, but they are for the body. There are certain dimensions of God that will never show up when you are alone. That dimension only comes when believers are gathered together. If believers are not gathered together, that dimension of spiritual activity cannot happen. For instance, if no one man could bring the Holy Spirit to the earth. Are we together? 120 people had to be gathered together. That spiritual formation created the room for the Holy Ghost to come. Are we together now? When the church was being threatened, right? The church was being threatened. The Bible says that they prayed, but they came together. So there are certain levels of persecution that comes upon the church. The prayer of one man cannot stop it. It takes the prayer of a body. And in God's economy, two or more people form the body. One man, there are certain possibilities. It says where two or three are gathered in my name. Is God helping us, please? One of the things that I really want us to have is spiritual intelligence. Say spiritual intelligence. It is the secret that helps men to do business in God's economy. You have to understand how God's system operates. So, there are treasures locked up in the body. Ah! You know, while I was preparing to come, the Holy Ghost gave me a revelation that touched my heart. And this is what he said. The Bible tells us um, that when Jesus was born, listen, there was a star. Is that true? 
a star that was shining so bright at the east and the magi those we call the wise men they saw that star and they followed that star and came where jesus was is that true and then they bowed down and they worshiped him now listen a savior was born on earth listen who could do a lot of things but there were people who did not know so on that earth there was someone who was born but they could not know however certain people decided to pursue and say let's find out and they found out that savior and it blessed them do you know that when jesus walked upon the earth there were people who were never healed i believe they were not interested in healing because in that dispensation there was a man who had the ability to solve their problem jesus did not heal every sick person he healed those who came to him he healed those who pursued him and sought after him. He didn't just come and volunteer and say, I'm concerned about this, your situation. No. When people were hungry, Jesus said, feed them. And the production of the miracle, Andrew had to come with five loaves and two fish. And Jesus said, okay, you have come to me. He always responded to people's hunger and passion. Let me tell you something. God is not a welfare officer. He responds to faith and a heart that believes. Your coming to God is proof that you know He is, He exists. And then that is the rewarder of them that diligently seek Him. Say Amen. Are we together now? Let me have, um, come, I need the guys, four or five gentlemen, please come. Just stand here, watch this. I want to teach you something very powerful. Stand. Everybody open your eyes, your ears, your spirit. Two more people, please. This is the body of Christ. Listen. This is the body of Christ. Hold this, Patrick. Hold this. You are here. Touching every life. I worship you. Let me have this. I, I worship, worship you. You are here. Many broken hearts. I worship you. Any other thing? Not hang well, not handkerchief. I worship you. Thank you, sir. Everybody lift, project out what I've given you. Watch this. This is the body of Christ. Are we together? In the body of Christ, there is a phone, true or false. In the body of Christ, there is a Bible, true or false. In the body of Christ, there is a handkerchief, true or false. So when God speaks, He speaks based on the provision that is in the body. So God says, anyone who wants to make a call, make a call. And now, this guy wonders, is there ever a phone in the body of Christ? Somewhere in the body is somebody who represents a dimension of God that can help men make calls. Follow me. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? When God looks, he does not see... What's your name? He does not see brother Kingsley. He sees his body representing all the possibilities in him. So God tells you, where is the piece of paper that contains the blessings on your life? And you say, oh God, all I have known in my life is that the body of Christ has pure water. And God says, no way. Check. There is a paper. There is a dimension that holds this possibility. But that it does not happen in your life does not mean it's not here. Hear what I'm saying. Are we together? This is the power that is vested upon the body. The body is part of Christ. So this is a modem. A modem helps you to access the internet. And God says there is a possibility in me for that dimension. But because you do not know the spiritual system that can help you access this. Are we together now? You may be suffering for this cause. For not discerning what this mystery entity called the body is. Some people will remain jobless forever. Listen please. 
Some people will remain sick forever. <laughs> Hear what I'm teaching you. Hear what I'm teaching you. I spoke, was it last week or two weeks ago, about spiritual tribes. The system of God that represents his possibilities. I told you that our personal spiritual growth is based on relationship. But kingdom advancement is based on covenants. You must understand this. So every time God wants to reveal his dimension to a dispensation, there is a mantle backed up by a throne in heaven that is responsible for that operation. It is those mantles that are represented as lampstands. Are you following me now? There are dimensions of the operation of the spirit. So what happens is, God finds one man, enters a covenant with that man, and the covenant is such that it can authorize the spirit to communicate certain dimensions of spiritual reality through that man to that dispensation. And every other person who must walk in this dimension cannot ignore both the person and the office of this man. Are we together? So, I am God. Watch this. You are thirsty. And you are saying, Oh God, quench my thirst. And God says, I refer you to my body. It's no longer a prayer point. Somewhere in my body, there is a system that was designed to quench your thirst. But through ignorance, arrogance, the lies that we pastors teach people, are we together? We pastors come and because of our ego, we teach people that single-handedly encountering us is encountering the body. So, they camp around the dimension of what we have and do not open up themselves to the multifaceted dimensions. Let me tell you something. Every custodian of this dimension is imperfect to a fault. Now, this is usually where we are cheated because we are sensing that the vessels that hold this perfect gift must be perfect themselves. So we are looking for patterns that look like what we can appreciate before we open up our hearts. Are we together? So you get to a church and um, they may have all kinds of imbalances. Maybe criticizing a Pentecostal church or whatever it is. And they may not allow praying in tongues publicly. And when you see that pattern, it's not what you are used to. You were not trained that way. You were trained to pray and blast and roll on the floor. But the man of God has that limitation. However, in spite of that limitation, there is a spiritual possibility committed to him. That if you approach that meeting with an open heart, you will still live with that grace. Are we together? Now, watch this. There are people... Who, who have opened up themselves to certain men of God, certain meetings, certain encounters. You can come to a church like this and a meeting like this and even be angry. Why are they, um, why are they playing instruments like this? And just because you identified with that system, certain possibilities come upon you. You were not opening your heart to believe oh, just because you found yourself in that environment. Hear me. Your life becomes accelerated when you understand the law that governs reception from the body. You may not have the physical privilege to meet all these tribes one on one, but there is a system provided for in Christ that will help you to contact all the possibilities that they have. Please hear what I'm teaching you and you will rise like an edifice. So, call this the prophetic. Call this the healing ministry. Sorry guys, just bring your hands down so you can rest. You can imagine what you are going through. Call this the teaching ministry. Call this the prayer ministry. Call this the prosperity ministry. Call this wisdom and excellence. Call this leadership. It's called the body of what? To teach that this should not be in the body of Christ is apostasy that it was not committed to you does not mean it was not given to the body 
Now let me tell you where we preachers destroy the body of Christ. Because of our ego, and I understand, it's not easy for we men of God. So be careful. While you are criticizing us, understand that we are humans too. But then, a true servant of God must be able to have the unashamedness to hide your individualism and say, Look, this is the beacon of light. This is the lampstand that I present to a generation. However, God's desire is that we open up our spirits to the multifaceted possibilities that exist in his body, not a ministry. By the time I, as a man of God who represents leadership and excellence, tries to give the body a picture that the prophetic is not useful. I, I, are we together now? So you hear me, anybody that prophesies is, is nonsense. All these commercial prophets, they are just nonsense and stupid. Now watch this. When the time comes in my life to need this grace, my hardness will stop the Holy Spirit from flowing in that dimension because I have refused to admit that it is a possibility that should be received. So my life is limited. For this cause, many are weak. Are we together? And so, this guy has been given the grace for wealth and prosperity. But now, this prophet or apostle knows how to speak and then God opens doors of wealth. So he will look at this guy and say, all these business guys, they are nonsense. Come to me, so a seed I lay hands on you, your door will open. He's also in apostasy and error. But any move you make that distorts the full representation of the body is apostasy. A deviation from the truth. Are we together? So, I need the prophetic. I need the word ministry for a great meeting. But I need this ministry to run generator and run and, and marry. And are we together? So, ministry is going well. And now you are ready for introduction. It's 400,000. Your eyes are clearing. You are trying to use this ministry to get this result. And God says, not so. You must find where in the body is already a provision. It will require humility. But because you have made too much mouth that you don't need this ministry. Now, the ego to now humble yourself and say, how do I now read this business book when I've told everybody that all there is to break through is prophecy? If you are getting blessed, say amen. amen. There are many people's confusion that can end. Look, for instance, there may be someone sitting here now who is praying and say, Oh God, fill me with the Holy Spirit. Something as cheap as the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Let me tell you, the day of your breakthrough is the day you choose to believe the body. It's not just the day God wants. You can, the Bible says today if you hear his voice That today is the day you read that scripture and believe There are people who You know when people call me and say Man of God I, I, I cannot imagine I want to be filled with the Holy Ghost I say something as basic as that In the realm of the spirit that, that's, that's kindergarten But because you have ignored That the body of Christ can bring these possibilities All you need to do is to know that a house like Koinonia has been committed these dimensions of the Holy Spirit. You don't even have to see me. You don't even have to ask the prayer leaders to pray for you. Just find your way on Tuesday. Stay in that atmosphere and let that possibility... You may just go and... I mean, before the prayer starts, you've received your own. When the donkey... The kiss was missing... They said, let's try to look for that donkey. And when they tried, and it looked like nothing would happen, I hope you know they would have said, Kai, there is no hope of it being found. Let's go back. Just the same way you said, Kai, I feel too much. I can't rise. No. You do not know what provision in the body was assigned for the rising of people. So because you do not know, your ministry will remain grounded forever. Whereas you are hearing testimonies every day that there were people worse than you who encountered these graces and rose. As I look at preachers, as I look at churches, the privilege of the apostolic office is such that you have the opportunity 
to bring governmental order to a system and a territory. I can step into a meeting or travel to a territory for a conference and look at the pastors and at once I can know the spiritual dimension missing in that territory which is a reflection of how they have closed their heart to certain possibilities in the spirit. So I can step into a meeting and see excellence but men do not pray. Five minutes prayer you just see them pray and they are sipping tea, taking this. I know that they have ignored this dimension out of the body. Through their preaching, through their saying, prayer is not everything. Get knowledge, get knowledge. And because the man of God does not pray, he has created a theological explanation to justify his not praying. And the members have followed suit. So I look at them, lean and hungry. I know they are weak. When they talk, you don't hear that echo that comes from the prayer life. There is, there is an unction that only prayer can deliver. Bible study will not bring it. When you hear a man speak, the, his altar resonates through his voice. I'm not talking of a husky voice. I'm speaking spiritual languages. Only men of prayer understand what I'm saying. So they come up and say, it doesn't matter. Is there excellence? Yes. Are there balloons? Absolutely. Is there a nice projector? Yes. But are there healings? No. Is there transformation? No. People come with their burdens and go back. And I look at that body. And part of the apostolic ministry, please hear me. That's why, let me tell you something. The apostolic office is not name. The apostolic ministry, you know how Anamoeba is. Biology. Basic biology. The apostolic ministry is designed such that when you enter a territory, you can assume any shape by God to let him introduce what is missing in that territory. You have to believe. That's why the true dealing of an apostle is stringent and is almost unbearable because your job is to supply the dimension of the spirit that is missing. That sometimes you yourself are not called into that dimension. But because you occupy the office of an apostle, God will tilt you for that meeting to force you to introduce that dimension. Is God speaking to us? Learn this and you will rise as if the devil does not exist. The body is still rich. The healing anointing is still in the body. He just left your church because your pastor is not willing to accept that he needs impartation of the healing anointing. Are we together? Your pastor has been lying that he's having a heavy healing anointing and is not telling in the stories. And we men of God hate submission. We hate the fact that we can say, I was ministered to and this ministration opened me to this new possibility. We would rather say, I labored in the secret place and God gave it to me. Meaning I am the custodian of it is a lie. When Jesus appeared to Paul, he told Paul, I recommend you to somebody in the body of Christ. Go and wait there three days. You would think that Jesus' appearing will mean Paul did not need any man again. But God still drove him. So there are people who have gotten the dimension of the Holy Spirit. But they have ignored Papa Kumui simply because they do not like him. And the lapse of what he represents to the body is killing them. There is a lot of carnality and unseriousness. Because they have refused to know that there is such a provision in the body. There are men who have insulted Bishop Oyedeko and do not know, ah, God let my people be rich. No, we are going to heaven. They are poor, they are broke, the ministry can increase. They have finished all their prayer. All that is needed for the ministry to thrive is finances. But they have ignored this provision in the body. Who is God speaking to tonight? See, let me tell you. Why suffer forever when the remedy has been paid for? Why not open your eyes and humble yourself and allow the Spirit of God to show you the system He has built to tap in, in the multifaceted possibilities? Look at me. I say this with all humility. There are impotent men and barren women who would die impotent and die barren forever. I say it with every sense of apology and I say it with every sense of honor. The, the humility to tap the provision that is in the body of Christ. I once met a woman years ago. I think it was in a meeting quite a long time. 
Let me tell you, I don't know what kind of grace was on this mama. But if she prays for you for pregnancy, just go and start buying baby clothes. Because you must give birth. It's, the question now is whether it's twins or triplets. Not that you'll be pregnant. There is a provision like that in the body. Is God speaking to us? Have you heard people here? Look at that lady saying she made her papers. She knew what she wrote. Sometimes it's not your effort. Sometimes it's the cloud that provides certain possibilities. See that? Those who know this never get arrogant. You know. Let me tell you something. I have seen... There's one man of God outside of this country. He's Benihin son. True son, not just fake stories. True son. That guy is not educated. That guy, you will know that this guy does not understand the system of church growth. But because he has been able to identify with what Benihin represents to the body, that guy carries a tangible healing anointing. You see the testimonies in his church, you will think he's a charm. Because he has identified that grace and that office. So let me tell you how Satan destroys us. The devil creates a system that covers away these possibilities. Are we together? Through pride, hatred for the body, resentment, and through pastors. We may be well-meaning and sincere, but he covers us. So as far as your spiritual growth is concerned, and the part of spiritual progress that an, a pastor has marked for you, this is all he has shown you to be the possibilities in Christ. So, you have to respect what you have been given. But you know you are dying of test. You know you are not communicating. There is no revelation in your life. There is no prayer. There is no access to the prophetic. Now, you can stand there. Your progress is based on how much of the body of Christ you have been open to. You will see somebody will come overnight who does not even have, he has not paid half the price you have paid, but he's foolish enough to contact this guy. He will carry a grace and jump and move. And you say, no way. How can a young man be a millionaire in four months? I don't believe this. These guys are 419. Don't say they are 419ers. If you have not tapped into the provision in the body of Christ, is it not a prophet that said, by this time tomorrow? Have you not read it in your Bible? Not to a person, to a nation. Israel, a nation that is a desert land till today, is still exporting food. And Nigeria, 80% of the food we eat is exported. Israel is in a desert land because there is something upon Abraham that landed upon them. Do they believe in God? No. You will imagine. Let me tell you, those who have gone to Israel, you know. Those who are helping you in the facilitation, they are not born again. When they watch Africans come and cry on the wailing wall, they wonder, Oh, Jesus, my Savior. They are just waiting for you to give them their money. They don't believe in God, but they are part of a tribe that God has covenanted with himself that they will keep seeing certain possibilities. Koinonia, are you hearing what I'm saying? I give you a guarantee. If you pay attention to what I'm saying, your life will rise like day and night. My only prayer is that you will not suspect yourself when you are rising. There is a way you rise too fast that you turn and say, ah, I hope I didn't put my hand in anything that is ungodly. I can't understand why my life is rising like this. Listen, whatever you see happening in the life of one man in Christ came from the body. It's reproductible. It, is, it has the ability to be transferred and it has the ability to be recreated if you understand the laws that govern it. People kept criticizing William Branham. I didn't used to work so much in the prophetic. Here and there, one word of knowledge, everybody teaches on William Branham and they made it look as if the guy backslided, went to hell. He's, in fact, he's, I've read William Branham's books, I've explored his materials left, right and center, including those where there were a lot of erroneous propositions. But let me tell you something. The earth will hardly find a meek man like William Branham. Very few prophets on earth today 
have come near the shoes of William Branham. It's just that there was no mechanism of preserving their audios and their videos like we do now. So you may just watch one or two videos where you don't see anything. Those men live like gods upon the earth. They are the ones the Bible says the earth is not worthy of. Are we together? William Branham. Every time people criticize him, he brought error to the body. Yes, there were imbalances, but he's a man. One day I was watching his video. I think it was a retreat. Heavily under the anointing. I was watching his video and something happened. As I was looking at him, I said, oh God, but there is, we, have, we have insulted the anointing out of this man. There are, there are possibilities that are supposed to come to the body that we ignored because of our our attitude of, of that judgmental cynical attitude we inherited from our parents that is still destroying people and churches today while I was watching something happened now I have a lot of encounters I live in this realm but then it was like it was like you know how you pour oil on someone but it was such a cold sensation not just the sensation you have. I knew something was happening. I was looking at this man. My eyes were heavy with tears. And it's as if it's a machine going down your body. Slowly. It took maybe about 30 minutes to go down and reach my feet. I didn't know what had happened. And every time, let me teach you a secret. Whenever you have an encounter you don't understand, pray in tongues. Pray in tongues. Pray in tongues will begin to give meaning to it. Not, not pray for five minutes and sleep. I mean stand up and pray. It's like a shell. You are opening it up spiritually. And your mind will begin to receive the impulses that have been communicated to your spirit. I began to pray. And the next meeting I would go for, it was, it was, like, it was like somebody just washed my eyes with water. And all of a sudden, I saw that there was a heightened prophetic dimension. A heightened ability. And I said, wow, something happened. I believe I've not even started tapping into 100 of that impartation that I got. So I'm still aligning more. By the time I align fully, my life will release the full potential of what had come. Because let me tell you, mantles depend on certain atmosphere to work. Um, I can receive a mantle, listen. I can receive a mantle, but if my mind is not developed, I will limit the access to that mantle finding expression. Are we together? So I can function and you may see me. You can carry the anointing upon my life and produce more results because the anointing is coming on a body that has been better prepared. Moses was his camera, so he could not manifest the prophetic anointing on him so much. But when that anointing now came on 70 people, they could not stand. That's what one man was carrying, yet he didn't prophesy. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Say after me, the body of Christ has been vested with every dimension required to represent God. Say it again, the body of Christ has been vested with every dimension required to represent Christ. Are we together? Now, it's, your, it's up to you to choose what dimension you desire to see in your life. A very shared a testimony, her family, who at this time of Nigeria's economy will call you to send money free. That is not happening in your life does not mean it's not happening. Let me tell you, there are people, this is the happiest year of their life. I can tell you that. Now, it's always insulting when results are not happening in your life and are happening close to you. So you react to it with criticism, you react to it with resentment, but the key is to find out what are you doing. Someone sent me a text and said, um, Apostle, I want you to confirm this. It's like the love of men is waxing cold in the body of Christ. I said, that's an error. Go and think again. The church is rising powerfully. You are the only one going down. Find out what you are not doing. People are praying more than ever before. Oh, come on. Revelation is coming upon the body more than before. Don't come up with your misguided thing that the church is going down. Who is the church? Don't say the church. Say I, as a member of the church, is hot. Like you can say, I have headache. And then the body can come together and help you. And say, it is true, you have headache. Let's bring you out. Don't use your headache to say the body is sick. 
Because let me tell you, the church is rising. What I'm teaching you will change your life. Look at our, our brother, this gentleman. Come, sir. You're the person who gave that testimony? Come. This guy came from Benway State. All the way. About to destroy... Come, 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 my son. How are you? This guy about to destroy himself to commit suicide. Are you seeing that now? If this guy committed suicide and died, what do you think will happen? We are going to sing. Pass will we pass from the earth and it's holy. That's we are carrying his grave now. Remember by what? Dear lies. What's your name? Our brother James. He died. It's a warning to all of us. No, no, no. I'm not mocking. Pay attention to what I'm saying. This guy, whereas one message, one message held the possibility of reviving his life. Please listen. I'm saying this with every sense of passion because we still need to press. We have stopped them. There are some of us who carry these mantles, but they are not developed enough to start serving the body. So your lack of prayer is making the body die in a certain way. This message is a, is a call to rise and develop your contribution to making the body rise. Imagine if I was a drunkard. Or imagine that I started drinking January 1st because I'm weary. The message that would need to help this guy. Do you know standing here may be a pastor or a prophet to nations. So as I, as I refuse to manifest and he dies, the nation tied to him dies. The purposes of God for that nation dies. Look at the ripple effect. Are we together? He has come now. And you can see that this guy is going to catch fire tonight. No, 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 he will. It's not, we have it. This is what I'm saying. You must know what you have as given by God. It's not for pride. It's to distribute to the body. He says, such as I have, this is, you can pray for it somewhere else because it's not part of the spiritual composition of that ministry. But here we have it. It was given. It's an office. The same way there are some things that are not in koinonia. If we need it here, we must open our hearts to other members of the body with all humility. There are some things that don't happen as a gift here in Koinonia. They happen through prayer. We pray and tap. But there are ministries, it happens like breathing. Some of you receive a lot of testimonies. If you see someone rolling under the anointing in Koinonia, you will not be surprised. Because it's an office. There are churches, if one person is rolling, the pastor says, I've been telling you that God has increased me. I've been saying this thing. Now, it's not to mock, it's not, it's not mockery. I'm saying there are spiritual possibilities. How you know what is available in a ministry is what the people in that ministry trivialize because they've seen it so much. It's in abundance. You don't pray for it. You don't fast for it. You enter this place and you are shaking like a leaf because there is a covenant that makes this possible. This is a gentleman. Now, if I'm a stupid man of God, I'm going to do two things. And this is a warning to many pastors. When this guy comes now, because he has come to Koinonia, let me tell you what most foolish men of God do. They try to say, you have gone to every other pastor. Are, are, you, are, you, are you seeing where we destroy the body now? You have gone to every other man. But when you came to Koinonia, everybody rises. And me, who is the champion you are talking about, I now rise. Those who do that, God is soon coming for them. Because that attitude is part of why the body does not grow. So, when this brother comes now, I do not isolate my impact to his life as though I'm different from the body. I just tell him, no, no, no. Whatever you receive here, I hide my individualism so that the body of Christ will be glorified. It does not matter that it is Joshua Selman. The most important thing is I have represented Christ properly. Your kingdom reigns. Your sea reigns. 
right now, we are all looking at him. What a foolish man of God would do is to make him hate every other man of God who has talked to him. Are you seeing now? I can make this guy hate every other man of God in Benway State or whoever. So the next time he's watching TV and he sees maybe a living faith or any ministry there, what he's going to say is all of you are rubbish, you are wasting our time. Only koinonia. Now, it looks like he's glorifying me, but he's destroying the image of Christ. I must leave this guy with an impression that makes him love the body of Christ. Because although he found an anointed man, although he found an anointed ministry, we hide our individualism that Christ be lifted. So as he's going to Benway, I will tell him, okay, take messages, but open your heart. God is doing great things in Benway. He's doing great things in Lagos. Don't even in a city where you think there are no people. I've gone to cities where you think God is not doing anything. But there are dangerous people in that city that God is lifting. So he comes here tonight and leaves loving the body. He comes here tonight. He receives the graces and the mantles that have been committed to this ministry. But he goes back loving the body. The next time he enters a church where the man of God is preaching and honestly what the man of God is saying is nothing to write home about. He will understand the limitation of that man but not hate the man. So the body has risen because a man of God with spiritual intelligence has been able to minister to this. Listen, the ministry of the spirit is very important. That's why you must be thoroughly worked upon by the spirit. I can be anointed but I will still destroy him. Are we together? How many of us have been destroying the body of Christ with our misguided understanding? And there are many more who want to rise. And so God says, calm down. Before you rise, let me walk on you. And say, God, I laid hands on somebody that day and the person fell down. I'm ready to go. And then God says, tarry ye. I'm still walking on you. The body of Christ. Every one of them holding possibilities. Like you have a doctor. Doctors write certain things and recommend other people to a hospital in India. They say there is the world-renowned eye surgeon is in India. Although I'm a consultant, I refer you to that guy. Because this situation, I want you to go and whatever he tells you to do, we can execute it here. That's the medical field. That's why they are helping people. But in the church, I can claim I'm an anointed man now. And then I look at this guy and I say, in the name of Jesus, I cast out that spirit. And then I say, it's done. You too, you know, nothing happened here. Are we together? The man said, if I be a man of God, go and launch into new dimensions. This guy goes back and starts smoking as soon as he gets to bed with, Because the spirit was there. Unmoved. By the arrogance of the man of God. That's how we destroy many people. Someone comes and tells you, I have, I am SS. And he says, in the name of Jesus, it is done. Go. The person comes back and says, nothing happened. And he says, well, you see, faithless people like you, I don't know why there are too many testimonies in my life. No, no. That's a foolish man of God. A man of God who really loves God will say, look, I will keep praying for you. But I want your heart to be open. There are still possibilities in the body. So when God says all things are possible, they are not possible just because you are a Christian. They are possible because He has distributed these dimensions to the body. Is God speaking to you? Please hear me, brothers and sisters. You may be born again and still die in poverty if you ignore what God represents, the systems He has built. You are not going to create. Look. This guy will not pray himself into becoming excellent. No. 
his prayer life will not suddenly manufacture into thee. His prayer life will give him the revelation that will make him come and meet this person. Are we together? This guy is excellent, but he's not going to heal the sick with balloons and stickers. He's going to heal the sick when his spirit is alive and strong. And that will happen when he acknowledges the ministry of this. Listen, meeting the people is not necessarily how to receive. Just being open to the body alone. Let me tell you something. There are ministries that I have received from even more than the members of that ministry. I have never seen their pastors. I have never gone to those ministries but just because my heart is open. I have received wisdom from people like Dr. Mike Murdoch. I've never been to the wisdom center. I've never sat down one on one under his ministration but my heart has been open to what he represents to the ministry. He's an apostle of wisdom. Whether you say seed, seed, seed is collecting money. I take what I believe is consumable for me and whatever part I think is an excess, I lovingly just drive it but I don't throw the baby and the bad water. I know how to receive from ministries. I tell you. This is a message for us. And God is helping us. We are going to really pray tonight. Discerning the body. Give us that scripture again. For this cause. Not for this causes. For this cause. You have written John 10 times. Who told you there is no way out? But sir, I always read. That's what you think is responsible for success alone. But there is a provision in the body. Do you believe this? I remember the doctor when he was giving his testimony. When he came and met me, he said he's going to go and write exams. I said, go and be a doctor. Listen, Korede Komaya, many of you may know him. He pastors a church in Wari. The wife of um, Bishop... Um, What's his name? In living faith. Not Abioye. Uh, Bishop Aremu. They have twins. And so she came to greet the woman. And Bishop Aremu's wife looked at Korede Komaya's wife. And he looked at her and took what the veil she was putting. Threw it on her and said, what are you doing? Go and get twins, Joe. Immediately, she was pregnant with twins. She's giving birth to twins now. Now, you have been crying for twins. But there is a woman with the mantle. She's even playing with it. Go and get twins drawn in the body. But there are some people saying, Lord, one child, whether the child is well or not, just give me something that comes out of me. Whereas, the bo please, I want you to take what I'm saying very seriously. I am a product of many anointings. I keep rising because I love the body, not just because I'm anointed. I was not born with every possibility in my life. I honored my way through them. And the key is to love the body. The body may be imperfect. I know there are false prophets, but the, the prophetic mantle is still in Nigeria. I know there are false apostles, but the prophetic mantle is still. I know there are money mongers, but there are still people with the prosperity mantle. Don't just because you have one or two case studies throw everything in the body of Christ and you destroy yourself. Is God speaking to us? You have to change your perception. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise, light in the darkness. That is who you are. You can choose the way people are trying to be established and be established at 45 and build your first house at 55 and die at 60 of high blood pressure or you can find out Lord is there a system you have created that can help men run Elijah told Ahab saddle your ass Ahab always knew that if you must run you run on donkeys so he had the best donkey but there was another system foreign to Ahab but the prophet knew it the Bible says the hand of God came upon him let me tell you something 
all the methods you know is not all there is there are faster and more effective routes to anything i have seen men brothers and sisters within two years of their work with god they have carried graces and unctions that will make other people angry and say i sought god for 10 years before the healing anointing came i don't know how you sought him but this brother sought him in a system that made two years become like 20 years this is the key to advancement. If God says this is our year of multiplied grace, then there is a technology he wants to give you to run. Let me tell you, we have been working, but it's time to run. It's time to run. The key is discerning the body. The key is discerning the body. The Lord instructed me to empty my account and sow it into a particular ministry. When I did that, I was shocked. It was like charm one month of non-stop favor permit me to use the word wicked favor i've seen favor in my life the same way i have seen pastors who just came and sat down some of you are like that they came from other ministries they never go to see me but they went back and all of a sudden their next meeting things just changed one man of god went to i think it was bishop Oyedeko or so and so the seed i shared with you the story where they could say now that you have come is recognize that you have a church in your area you know that looks arrogant isn't it but the man knows what he's saying the man went back and in one service they had 500 newcomers 500 500 listen the men of god and the spiritual structures that carry these systems may have their arrogance they may have their imperfections but create a system to look beyond it you know what you are finding if you find god you will find him if you are finding a loud you will find him but for you to think all you have seen is all there is in god you are joking please hear me this thing called favor does not just fall on people because you read it in scripture there are men carrying this thing bodily it's like a mantle on their head anywhere they go anywhere they go we were at the airport i was just sitting down we we're waiting for a boarding call and while we we're sitting a gentleman just came a man of god he said sorry are you apostle joshua selman i said ah somebody has come to embarrass me again and then the person you know we just spoke and he just said excuse me he just went and put money in an envelope and brought it and dropped it just like that is he working in your life some of you know why because you think it must come through your personal secret place look god has created do you know the spiritual discipline it takes for a man to carry some of these things people have labored for you so that by the grace of god and through the power of a corporate life you can enter into certain possibilities trying to dig the well afresh your lifetime is not enough to enter every dimension by yourself if it takes 10 years to catch a particular spiritual possibility, how long do you have to live to get all of them? So God has created men. Your honor and your love for the body opens you up automatically to that dimension. Those of us who have the art of criticizing the body, you own your television and everybody, you keep scrolling channel after channel, insulting everybody. You go to church and your pastor, you look at him, and all these Anglican people say they are about to just keep quiet look for Christ and you will find him look for excellence you will find it look for anointing look for prayer look for these graces and you will find them that's what I've chosen to do I'm, I'm like that's why I told you I'm like a spiritual archaeologist I go around the body of Christ with my bag of treasures when I find it he said they are life to those who find them that's how we found the grace for long life that we transported like gold from equity state to koinonia we landed it here i know how it came it came from a city and a territory that have a covenant of long life 141 years still alive i said no way we must receive this our seed went for it but those yoruba people prayed for us with their with the mama prayed on barefoot when it landed on my life i knew 
were coming back from Yola, there was so much trouble, turbulence in the air. They had to turn back. The plane turned back from Yola back to Abuja. Because the turbulence was too much. Now when they carried us, I mean, it was as if we were going to drop. God is my witness. I was sleeping. Guys, the mysteries that surround my life are many. What you see is not all that there is. You try it and see. It's like Obama. You know how Obama is watching. You want to shoot him and you just die. Somebody shoots you from where you do not know. Because they are watching. The keeper of Israel. He never sleeps nor slumbers. He is watching over me. That's my testimony. The keeper of Israel. He never sleeps nor slumbers. Yeah. He's watching over me. There are men that have a covenant of deliverance with God. They will enter trouble as if there is no tomorrow. What that to say, God will show up. When you have even concluded, David was such a person, Psalm 3. Many a day, he said, How many a day that trouble me? Many a day that rise up against me. Many a day that say, Where is his God? He said, But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me. Listen, it's not every man that said that. They didn't have it. David had it. It's called the covenant of peace. In the Hebrew, it's called the covenant of shalom. Peace. The covenant that makes God show up when a man has trouble. There is such a covenant. There is such a mantle. You need it in this Nigeria. You don't need to look for trouble. You just need to be a Nigerian. Trouble will come and find you. But sometimes you cannot defend yourself. But when that mystery is at work, you will see God turn things. It's like Ojoro, they say, no, 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 but I know this person is supposed three causes. I understand waving one, but three causes. Why you? There is something they do not understand more than the Senate of APU. I want you to believe this. Men walk upon mysteries. That's why two people can go through the same thing. Another person will die. But another person said, I don't know what happened. I was right at the edge of a breakthrough but couldn't see. My troubles held me down. The pressure led me down. God kept me. So I wouldn't let go. His mercy kept me. So I wouldn't let go. Listen, there are lots of ladies who are saying, no man has come to ask me out. I know I'm not pretty. It's a lie. It's a lie. There are married women with 10 children. And somebody is still saying, sorry, can we have dinner? It's a grace. Well, you can argue it because you went to school. I'm telling you, it's a grace. You see, this education is good, but you have to be careful. The realm of the spirit is far superior. To the intellectual realm there's a gentleman in this ministry i've never seen somebody with that grace there is nothing he does not do that doesn't prosper he has done all kinds of things if that guy sells pampas i don't mean it in a shop from his house there are no children here but you will buy it something will make you just say let me buy it and give somebody as a gift that's the kind of grace he has i know people who have their shop they sit down alone and eat everything in the shop because you have business intelligence but you have not opened up yourself to that dimension please as we begin to pray let your prayer lift you in the spirit where you stand for where you have ignored and let's cry out and say lord there is no prosperity in my life i've been trying to fake it but this thing is not there let it come do you know if it comes before miracle service, you can have a testimony that dwarfs everything. It's because you think everything you work, you work for is what you must get. There are people who have worked for things. The grace can direct them to you. For this cause, for this cause, there are women who desire men. They have six ladies. And they are about, their home is about to scatter because they are looking for a man. And the man is saying, this is your last chance. If you ever give me a girl, you are following that girl to go out of the house. Of course, that's a stupid reason. 
But do you know there is a woman with 12 boys? Why don't you exchange it? Who taught you that these things are not transferable? You can transfer a charge card. MTN share. But you can't transfer spiritual virtue. Who lied to you? You break your 2,000 naira recharge card and give somebody 500 and he receives it. And you don't believe you can transfer spiritual virtues? Who lied to you that I cannot impart upon you grace for prayer? The, my agreement with God can come on you. Listen, listen. Guys, I don't know how we think sometimes, honestly. I can tell you, I want to browse. I have 5,000 naira in my phone. True or false? And I can say, okay, send 1,000. You just need to press a code. And your, your amount will be deducted. Abi? And then it will come to somebody. And he's just sitting down and his phone rings. Credited with 1,000 naira. Did he work for it? You could share it because you are willing to share. And he was willing to accept. Who told you you cannot do that spiritually? You can transfer health. Not healing. Health. You can transfer it. Believe me. If you can transfer sickness, why can't you transfer health? Please answer me. Biology teaches us airborne disease. What's the other one? Waterborne disease. And whatever you want to call, you can transfer it. You can transfer wealth. These things are first spiritual. You can receive it. If you don't believe what I'm saying, get ready to struggle in this life. Because it's not by power. It's not by might. We have ignored God's system of making things easy for us. God is not a wicked God. If you do not walk with the body, and this is all you have, you will make God look like a wicked God. Because you'll be like, oh God, help me. Let me tell you, the answer is not in heaven. Someone on earth is walking in your prayer point. And if only your heart will be open. Prayer was not just designed for petitions alone. It was designed as a spiritual system to help you grow. But most of our prayer life has been channeled towards pleading because we have ignored the body. Are we together? There are people in life, they may not be so spiritual, but there is, there is no time they cry for help. The help does not arise. There are people like that because their grandmother blessed them and said, may you always find help. She transferred something from her and it landed on that little baby who could not say amen. The baby grew not knowing there was such a possibility. But the baby noticed that every time I go somewhere, help has arrived. Brothers and sisters, it's a grace. There are people who their grandfathers were herbalists. Babalao, but they laid hands on them and say, may your eyes see. They grew up as children from age four, five. They started seeing. They are not born again because originally from God, they were called to walk in a prophetic dimension, but it was corrupted. Although the transference came through divination, when they get born again, God does not cancel it. It only corrects it. There is a switch of kingdoms upon which that possibility operates. That's why when an occultist gets born again, he doesn't stop seeing vision. It only comes back under the authority of Christ. I'm speaking to you by the Spirit. There are dimensions of the Spirit that are possible. See, this house, Koinonia, is a great house. This house, Koinonia, is a great house. There are all kinds of possibilities for your taking. Now, you can sit down and argue it. Is this thing real? Is this possible? Or you can say, Lord, I'm tired. It's not this hard. I'm, it's, it's not this hard. Now, for the next 10 minutes, we are going to pray. Listen. Your prayer, you are not asking God for anything. You are just going to pray in the Spirit. I want you to prepare your spirit for a distribution of mantles. A distribution of mantles. A distribution of possibilities. 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 Possibilities.
Results are possible in the kingdom. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen to me. Listen. Listen. Listen, let me teach you something. There are pastors here. You have never seen the hand of God show up in your meetings. It's an insult on yourself. It's not, it's not about prayer and fasting. There are cheap possibilities you can step into. There are churches, there are prayer groups for years. You are four, five, you become 20, you come back to three. Why punish yourself? It's not so hard. Why don't you open up your spirit to receive? There are people, there's no man in your life to help you. You work for everything. It's a cost. Don't think you are making progress just because you have a job. It's a cost to not have helpers show up for you. There is a place called Zion. And God can send help to men. We are a ministry that has been greatly helped by God. Do you believe that? We are going to pray. The next two to three minutes I want you to pray. Listen. Anointing is not just a spiritual thing that lands on your head. No. An anointing is simply an impartation that opens a dimension of spiritual possibility. Please hear what I'm saying. An anointing does not do everything. Your request directs its operation. Are we together now? You don't just say, God anoint me. It's not a wise prayer. Father, everything is working in my life but this prosperity thing. Lord, I don't see helpers arise for me. I beg and I struggle for everything. I get in trouble and pay for it by myself. There is an anointing for exemption. Lord, I see that there is no influence in my life. You know the area you need grace for. I'd like you to pray like your heart will come out of your body. Cry for the dimension you must see in your life.
Hallelujah. I'm going to give us three prayer points. I want you to pray it with fire. Because as you pray it, God will answer it. Number one. Father, the anointing for speed. The anointing for speed. That I will run. Everybody will see that this is speed. Release it upon me in the name of Jesus. Pray, pray, pray. Speed. Brothers and sisters, what you are receiving in this prayer will speak. I assure you, it will. It will. Please don't think God is playing games with you. We are not serving an idol. I show you a mystery that has made and is making my life. I know what I'm saying. Prayer point number two. Lord, multiply my results. Multiply my results. Lift your voice and pray. Multiply my results. Multiply my results. Financial results. Ministerial results. Multiply my results. Masquerade. There is a language they use. When you see men who are masquerade, they say they cook them. Abi, they say they cook the man. That's why he can speak. That's what is happening to you now. That that thing that they say they cook a man, that you come out and it will be like charm is on you. That's what is happening. The last prayer point, or at least the next one. Listen, people, hear me, hear me. I don't know how to beg you to pray this prayer point, but you've you've heard me say it. I like you to call your helpers. Listen, Koinonia, listen. 
until your helper shows up, you can remain in one position for decades. Listen, a helper is not a volunteer. A helper is a man anointed to rescue you. Listen, you may die and not be able to move to certain dimensions until a helper arises. Listen, listen. There are many families with no helpers. There are many lives with no helpers. There are people who need jobs, no helpers. Intelligence, no helpers. It's a prayer I pray every day. Listen, there is no helper that comes on his own accord. They are called. I have seen financial helpers in my life. I have seen all kinds of helpers. Any good information that can help Koinonia, they call me. Man of God, there is so and so. Have you considered it? Listen, you need them to move forward. Say in the name of Jesus. Shout it, Koinonia, in the name of Jesus. Tonight, by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, I speak to the spirit of my helpers. Share the word of the Lord. Show up in my life. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Listen, we are still praying that prayer point. Hear me. I know what helpers can do. Where a man shows up from nowhere and says, I came to help you. There is such a thing. Listen. Listen. Many ladies are married because a helper showed up. Many people have gotten jobs. There are people... I have been a destiny helper to many people. I remember someone who was trusting God for promotion. And in a meeting, I met somebody who was like um, a representative of that company. And I called the person. I said, I know this person. Please, if there is any assistance they can render. Honestly, out of respect for me, that guy was promoted to a position that even surprised me. Help us. Somebody needs to talk to somebody about you. You can't talk to them. Say in the name of Jesus. Whoever needs to talk about me. For my help to come. I release you to speak on my behalf. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Oh, I release you. in now you can't bring yourself out it's not just by prayer and fasting you need a human vessel to show up we are going to pray 
say in the name of Jesus every mountain standing before me every closed door standing before me whoever holds the key by prophecy I call the person open that door for me lift your voice and pray open that door says verily verily I say unto you if you have faith as small as the monster said he said thou shalt say to this mountain listen every challenge in your life has a spirit component to it we are still rounding up but make sure you pray this prayer pray it with everything you have say in the name of Jesus every disappointment Every shame, every challenge in my life, sponsored by hell, I declare that the powers behind those problems, you come on that judgment now. Lift your voice and pray. Every power behind the disappointment in my life. many of us God wants to bless you but your heart has been closed so you do not receive other blessings from the body this prayer is going to open you up to the possibilities in the body say in the name of Jesus I repent from criticizing the body say in the name of Jesus my heart is open to every blessing Every dimension, every possibility in the body. Therefore, I call every anointing, every grace, every mantle, every unction required for my next level. Come upon my life. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Every mantle.
that you are under the anointing, please lay your hands on your head. I want to speak to you. Don't worry, instrumentalist, you can play. Exceeding. for koinonia and waste your time. Isaiah 48 Verse 17 Just say the Lord thy Redeemer the Holy One of Israel stretch your hands towards me I am the Lord thy God who teaches thy hands to profit listen of a man represents his labor. It's the mystery that brings abundance. I want to pray for you. Many of you will enter dimensions of breakthrough. 
by this prophetic act. In the name that is above all names, I stretch my hands out to you. if you can stand on your feet the Bible says they know not neither will they understand please listen he told Abraham he said look eastward southward northwards he says everywhere the sole of your feet treads upon listen there is a mystery of dominion that men can hold firm grasp of territories and dimensions. I've taught you there are five elements upon which the supernatural finds expression. Number one is light. <laughs> Number two, fire. Number three, Wind. Number four, the earth. Are we together? One of the mysteries that we're using. Listen, the earth is a universal point of contact. No matter how high a building is, it must make contact with the earth. Make up your mind that my life must become an expression of the beauty and the glory of God. Make it a project. It doesn't matter where you are now. Make up your mind that my family must become a reflection of the beauty and the glory of God. As at the time you are speaking, you may not have where to live. As at the time you are speaking, there's no food even at home now to eat. Don't worry. Stand in faith. Don't fake anything. There's no need faking anything because there's no need faking what can be real. You've heard me say. There is no point faking anointing. There is no point faking power in ministry. You can stand and say, Lord, as it is right now, my church looks like a place where people just stop to drink water because of how powerless it is. But Lord, let something from heaven come upon my church. And I stand in faith. And I believe with you. Everybody you pray for is not healed. Everybody you speak over is not changed. But no problem. You stand and look at your siblings. And nobody in that house looks like the future. Everybody looks like the past. Stand in faith. I refuse to give my, the, my mindset as a donation. Everybody in your family is not married. Everybody in your family has no children. Don't partner with the devil. They have all donated their mindsets. Be the last key that will refuse Satan. And say, no way. If God is finding hope in this family, let my mindset be the gateway that allows God to come in. Please hear what I tell you. Not elder sister, no child. This one, no child. You two, you have been married how long? Say two and a half years. Say year. all of us are the same. You have, you are the last card that God is depending upon to become the doorway for His power to come. And now the devil is tricking you through frustration to donate your mindset. If everybody in your family is failing, you can stand and say, Lord, find one doorway that can allow you remember there is no miracle until there is at least five loaf and two fish you have to give god something the five loaf will allow other loaves come hallelujah 
I never think failure. I truly mean it. I'm not just talking. I never think defeat. I believe I'm victorious. I live in the consciousness of the jealousy of God over my life. It's true. I have loved thee with an everlasting love and I have drawn you with my loving kindness. It's not just scripture to me. It is life. It is God revealing his intent to me. This ministry will never go down. It will continue to be from glory to glory. It's true. No, 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 no. I'm being as honest and modest with you as, as possible. Because retrogression has an explanation. You can explain why things deplete. You can explain why things retrogress. And you can explain why things will remain afloat regardless of what happens. Hallelujah. You are here tonight in this place. In the presence of God. You are here tonight. Many of you have traveled from several nations. Some of you have traveled from different places to come. Please hear me, my brothers and my sisters. The first miracle that God is doing tonight is calling your attention to the partnership that your thought life would have been creating with the devil. We call all kinds of nonsense. Does it look like God? If you were God, is that how you will walk? Are we together now? You must insist and say, no, this is not the character of God. This is not the best of God. God cannot bring 11 children to be scrounging from hand to mouth. And the only employed person in that family is earning 15,000. God is not wicked. Something is wrong. The moment you call darkness, darkness, then light can fight it. When it has to do with dealing with issues, don't be ashamed. Don't be afraid to stand on God's side. Are we together? So a miracle service allows the multifaceted dimensions of God's power to find expression. Some of you are here trusting God to break and crack down yokes of infirmity once and for all. But do you believe? Do you agree with God? Apostle, I'm SS. This thing will never change. It will be unto you according to your faith. Apostle, I know. I'm just here. No problem. They will lay hands on me. But that, that persuasion is not yet there. Apostle, I believe God will prosper me, but in your mind, you are looking at that class, you are looking at um, the fact that your only uncle that had access to bail all of you out died last year, and you say it has finished. No. Apostle, there have been too much delay in my life. By now, I should be at this level, at this level, but restoration is possible. Let your mind open that door. See, when you know who God is, you don't, there is no fear and regret in your life. Because the Bible says, for we know. The rest don't know. But we who are in the kingdom and are aware of the systems of advantage provided for by God in Christ. We know that in a believer's life, there is nothing that is really a disadvantage. It's true. If you were employed as a graduate in 2000, by now you most likely with diligence and service minus corruption and wickedness you probably would be a director by now are we together yes and now you've not even gotten a job so if you get a job now most likely you are over age already they will not employ you and so you can sit down and say this thing self i'm dead it's finished it's over because you have given god you have told god how to move in your life and not allowed him move how he wants to move God, if it's must, you move this way. And God says, I want to do more than you can imagine. And he will have to make do with the allowance that your mindset allows him. But someone can say, Lord, I'm tired of allowing you to pass through my life only through salary. Thank you for salary, but El Shaddai, where are you? Answer my family. That is the day you will see what will happen one day. And it will look to you like a dream. Someone will call you and say, the Lord instructed me to transfer 30 million to this family. You say, please tell EFCC before you talk to me. Let, let's just be sure you are genuine. And they say, God instructed me and I'm obedient. Then you will now know that the testimony of others are not a lie. Pain can make you think everyone is lying. Did God really step in like that? Did God really anoint you like that? Hallelujah expect god to step into your family expect god to step into your life expect god to put favor upon you the reason why people succeed in this life 
the favor of God is true. Expect it. Life by default and without the assistance of God is impossible to live. It's not hard. It's impossible. You will never be able to walk in the dignity of kingdom integrity and live life as it should be unassisted by God. No. So he interjects your life with different systems of advantage like mercy, like favor, like speed, like restoration. All these things are divine forces that work together to make your life become what the word of God says should become. So a woman here, for instance, who has been barren, say for six, seven years. Now, if God gives you one child, that's good news, but that's progress, not restoration. Because you will still have to wait three years, get pregnant again, wait three years, get pregnant. You must add 12 years to have the four children. So God gives you triplets in nine months. Now, that one is no longer progress. That's restoration. He has brought nine years spacing in nine months. Are we together? God calculates your salary like arias and brings it through favor in one transfer. God shifts you to a level of anointing that you should have walked in. Had it been your uncle allowed you to be diligent, attending church, serving in the house of God, there are certain levels in the spirit you would have walked in right now. But because he stopped you and clamped you down and things didn't look like they were walking, many things just went down in your life. And because of that, watch this, because of that, you got grounded and could not know God fast. And God can lead you to an uncommon mentorship, an uncommon anointing. In six months, you will receive a grace that is 15 years old. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Jacob collected Esau's birthright. He didn't know that Esau was supposed to suffer seven years. When he collected his birthright, Esau's own plus, his own, he served 14 years. It's not about exchanging of women. It's destiny playing out. Their family had delay. I hope you know. From Abraham, it was a challenge. So both of the sons individually, whether they was collecting birthright or not, they would have paid their seven years. Watch this. But Jacob collected Esau's. It only played out using women. But it still played out. That means you can collect someone's speed too. You see that? It's true. Sit down. Please sit down. You can come with a load that is supposed to be 10 years according to the normal sequence of occurrence based on the allowance your family gives. And you come under the influence of a covenant that forces your life to look like the grace upon that territory. It's true. Find a way of believing what I'm saying. I've shown you Luke chapter 1 to tell you the certainty of these things. It is not those who like you that bless you alone. It's those who are directed. For everybody to like you. Do you know how long it takes to like a man? Sometimes you just need to hear God and obey fast. Your life requires speed. Hallelujah. There are times because of what God wants to do in your life, when he finds out that four people need to be blessed to reach you, whether they are praying or not, he will hurry them quickly because they are delaying you. He will hurry them for your sake. When you come for a meeting like this, be conscious of four things. Number one, be conscious of every prophetic word that comes relating to your issues of concern. Be conscious of it. When these words come, don't think they are just empty speakings. The carnal man cannot discern the things of God. The word of God is like a tray. You have to receive the tray before you receive what is on it. Are we together now? The word of God is a tray. It carries miracles, carries deliverance, carries healings. So when you receive the word, the engrafted word, you now take what is in it. Be conscious of the prophetic word. Number two, be conscious of the covenant. 
covenant is a very deep spiritual word many people just shout covenant around but they don't even know what it means listen a covenant is a system that commits god and causes him to vow to ensure that a person or an institution continues to receive certain predictable outcomes it's a covenant there is the covenant of answered prayer there is a covenant of god's presence there is a covenant of results every man that god truly calls and every ministry that god truly ordains there are underlying spiritual covenants the platform upon which god put his vow and his integrity that has touching this and this i will make happen it's true also be conscious of the graces you see that the graces that are available within that territory you cannot receive a man's covenant you can only partake of it but you can receive graces you are a pastor you come and your church is grounded you only have 50 members during your annual thanksgiving thank god for that but something is wrong god is a god of increase you can come with hearts open to receive the grace how about hardship things not working well how about your spiritual growth you are at the same level for five years the knowledge of scripture zero health of your prayer life zero you are a man of god and nobody is placing a demand on the grace of god that you have it will frustrate you eventually but there are graces every possibility in the kingdom is governed by an operation of grace when that grace comes upon your life your result shows thou anointest my head with oil the result shows through my cup he does not anoint your cup he anoints your head your cup proves what is on your head are we together now so this is very important thank you and you have to understand the way this works we are going to pray shortly and i need you to know how this works i want you to receive be conscious of the graces not some of you may not need may not need a miracle like miracle from sickness or whatever but understand that when you come it's like an exchange of graces listen the bible says give us please second corinthians chapter 9 and verse 8 please give it to us quickly second corinthians 9 and verse 8 praise the lord read with me please koinonia ready one to read stop 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 god is able to make all grace let me explain that to you please all of you come stand anywhere you want to stand just stand anywhere scatter yourself around don't come close to me just stand watch this call these guys graces the grace for prosperity the grace for favor the grace for speed the grace for spiritual fire the grace for influence watch this access to the hearts of men this is you this is your destiny and the bible says the way we advance is that we need to be in touch with all graces not some i can have the grace for prosperity and i'm rich but i suffer but i succeed you are rich but no man helps you because you don't have favor you only have prosperity the proof of favor is not money is the loyalty of men if you do not have access to the hearts of men you don't have favor you may have resources so this guy has prosperity so he will labor wake up in the morning sleep late in the night eat the bread of sorrow mix it with hard work and eventually prosper but as far as spiritual fire is concerned the grace that plants in a man the hunger and the passion for the things of god is not in him so that grace is not there he has some but not all and the part the grace dimension he does not have the deficiency of it will show in his life he is getting richer but not as his soul prospers this is the grace he needs when you pray and intercede for this man now god will answer your prayer by channeling him to a ministry or a man of god that has this dimension so that in addition it will be added to him are we together now now listen very carefully please look up everybody so god is one of the things that happens here is that the spirit of god continues to move like a wind and he scans your life which grace do you need in this season that you do not yet have this is one of the 
biggest miracle that happens in a miracle service most people do not know you sit under this atmosphere and there is an updating it's like a software god finds out that this level you are entering into there are at least 21 graces but as it is there are only four so while the meeting worship is going prayer is going there is an upgrade that grace so here's what the bible says god is able to make hold my hands so you come for koinonia miracle service dry nothing is on your head and nothing is around your life too because what is around you is a is a report card telling what is on you are we together now you obtain the grace that makes for abundance for the sake and the grace for wealth that works in this ministry forces you to love god while you are wealthy if you receive a grace that makes you wealthy and as you are rising in wealth you are leaving god that anointing did not come from this ministry the grace for this ministry has been it has been edited to a covenant to ensure that as men rise their hearts also rise for god not the kind of nonsense money that makes you leave god you don't honor anything that has to do with god again no it is as you prosper even as your soul prospers it's babylon that gives wealth that prospers you and diminishes your soul watch this so you receive this grace and then the holy spirit finds out grace for what favor come watch this praise and worship you got this one during praise and worship you didn't even know why you felt like falling you just thought that ah the song was so nice something had landed on your head are we together now this is speed hold me now my dear watch this this is what is happening in koinonia you are sitting down but you just know that there is a weight that glory something is coming on you you can't tell you are not even falling you are not shouting you will look at someone shouting and feel bad and feel like i i wish i'm the person falling whereas the holy ghost is doing very serious things and then access to the hearts of men this is your package for miracle service now you receive this watch this we now share the grace watch this watch this remember you travel from another nation the uk us kenya wherever and then you just came and at the end of the service satan can even fool you you are from kenya oh i see please sit down madam i see how it's a kenyan uh, god bless you now watch this you can receive this and while you receive it they will share the grace and you will still feel like nothing came on you but you see the exam is not marked in church go out listen please koinonia understand what i teach you and god is able you came for a meeting and you carried this in two days someone who forgot you no listen he does not just remember i've taught you this last week a book is open in the realm of the spirit by reason of the grace that you carry watch this in one week a strange grace for illumination you think hold on you think is the spirit of revelation it's not revelation it's speed it's just that speed demands revelation there are graces when you carry they call others too so that they will work well in your life and god is able god is able god is able there are people because of the graces you carry you will sustain the grace to fast for three days for one week remember that was a condition god gave you to allow your spirit allow him do certain things but the fortitude to fast that long was not there so the grace comes and while you wait upon the lord 10 years immediately is released within one month listen if all you see is just physical healings and deliverances you are not seeing well the major part of what calls listen one of the major reasons why god sends people from other nations and other places to this place is number one to be able to stand by the grace he has provided for to solve their problems but more than that to expose you to ancient mantles these are graces that were there by covenant listen 
there is nothing i carry that is as old as me everything i carry is older than me by far we are only stewards the grace predates us it's a relay we are running others ran it and god added on it and gave us to hold it for a generation to know the certainty of the things whereof you have been instructed please hear me if you believe what i share with you tonight you will marvel and you will wonder you can choose tonight to agree with god that every challenge except it does not have a name that in this place this night god will bring it down we are going to have like 10 minutes of serious prayer now listen please during that time of prayer forget about who is by your left and right forget about me just stay with god and pray passionately for the next 10 minutes lord i came for an encounter i came to receive healing i came to receive deliverance but i came to also attach myself to covenants i came by the spirit to receive graces outside inside online lift your voice and pray be restoration please bring them out quickly 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 let's save time please in the break take it to Sheila Qatar restoration now I speak it by the spirit the power of God is still coming on people recover recover by the spirit recover I stretch my hands recover by the power of prophecy recover Recover years lost. Recover opportunities. E Paris ke barashanda la katariata. Recover in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and declare God is bringing recovery. Let me tell you, you will marvel and wonder that the things you thought has left you, you are about to find it waiting for you in your tomorrow. I speak to you, may that grace come upon you now again. Recovery. Recovery, recovery, shamana katabadakata, restoration. I want to take authority over the spirit of delay. I'm seeing many people, your feet is chained in the spirit. You want to make progress, but you cannot make progress. Fire is falling from heaven now. I decree and declare inside, outside, all the overflows. Anyone under the sound of my voice who is under the influence of the spirit of delay at the count of three may fire from heaven fall upon those chains one two three i break those chains now be free now from delay be free now be free now be free now, be free now. I will hasten my word to perform it. I will not just perform it. I will give speed to my word. The word is quick and powerful. I declare again, any family here, any individual under the yoke of delay, I speak to you by the spirit. That yoke is broken now. That yoke is broken now. broken by the spirit hallelujah now i want to pray please listen i have prayed this prayer and for those of you who have missed it in time past may god grant you the grace to receive it now listen truly speaking there is a grace for speed please hear me a man's lifetime cannot allow the fullness of the purposes of God to be birthed. Some of you gave your life to Christ late already in life. It's not enough to rebuke delay. You must obtain the grace for speed. And watch this. I'm about to pray for people now. And that anointing is coming on people. 
as usual you find people running by the spirit but i need to release that anointing father i stand under heaven in this miracle service there are people who have traveled from several nations and several territories at the count of three for you and for your family that dimension of speed where 10 years can be put in one year i declare right now let it come upon you one two three take that grace now take that grace now speed parush kabarakata speed career speed i give speed to your life speed to ministry receive that grace right now receive that grace right now receive that grace right now speed hello gim madonna hallelujah mommy please look at me ma don't be embarrassed i don't know you but i'm seeing strong witchcraft over your family where are you coming from madam madam i'm looking at you i'm seeing river state where are you from states. Huh? states river state yes sir the lord says i should tell you that from this night things will change in your life she's your mother help that woman please i'm looking at the lord in the spirit i'm putting my hand inside a river and i'm bringing something out and the lord says the destiny of this family in the name of jesus that's the daughter i command by the spirit every planting that is not of the lord i overturn and i uproot now in the name of jesus christ who is naomi i'm hearing a name naomi we have to hurry up i want to pray for the sick naomi Hello, Kim Madonna. Ah, hello. The Naomi I'm talking about is outside. Where are you coming from? Come, stand. Your name is not Naomi. Is your name Naomi? What's your name? Come, stand. Where are you coming from, my dear? From where? I want to pray for you. Your name is Naomi. Come and stand. We have to hurry up. Hold on. I cancel CS. I, Madam, look at me. I stretch my hands now. I cancel CS. By the spirit of the living God. And I decree and declare like the Hebrew women you will give birth. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm saying it again. I correct what I'm seeing. In the name of Jesus. This is what doctors say. Baby is preached. In the name of Jesus. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I correct it now. May you give birth normally like the Hebrew women. In Jesus name. Let me pray. Are you married? You are backing a baby where is the baby i'm looking at you in a vision that's why i'm saying oh, how can this you know i'm saying you came to koinonia you are backing a baby outside this is the vision I'm... you are not getting what i'm saying is this you were backing this baby when i mentioned your case Huh? Yes, were you backing a baby yes, that's why i'm saying are you married because you look too small to be a married woman this is the real person i want to pray for bring this little baby god is i don't know whose child is this your child but god this lady you see is going to be a mighty vessel in the hand of god she looks like a little girl in the name of jesus what's her name nicole, nicole. She may not know what we are doing, but we stand in the presence of the people of God. We anoint this lady. May she become a Deborah to her generation. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My dear, let me pray for you. Where are you from? Kogi State. I want to pray for you. Immediately she mentioned Kogi State. I saw what I used to see now. 
now I'm seeing the map of Nigeria and I'm seeing the power of God going to Kogi State Kogi State I'm praying now it's a sign and wonder every time I see that if you are from that locality the power of God comes on you immediately in the name of Jesus I command witchcraft associated with that territory even the lawful captives shall be delivered even the lawful captive shall be delivered. <laughs> Hallelujah. Who is Magdalene? Magdalene, my dear, come. In the name of Jesus Christ, I anoint you. There is grace. You look young, but you are going to be a mother to men. This is what I'm saying. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord anoint you and make it so. My dear, I rebuke the hand of witchcraft now. Release her. I'm seeing chains on you. I declare by the Spirit, release this lady now. I'm about to minister deliverance shortly. Release her now. In the name of Jesus. Please bring someone in overflow too now. A lady. The power of God is coming upon that lady. Now as I speak, overflow too. Mighty fire of God is coming. Please bring her quickly. We have to save time. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. Come my dear. The grace that will want to make married men disturb you. Look at me. I come against that spirit now. Not only you. There are five other people I'm seeing. I don't know where they are. But in Jesus name. There is a, like, like, a, like an, almost like an evil anointing. That makes only married people to look for you. In the name of Jesus. By the God of heaven. I lift that negative thing off your life now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. I hear the name Magdalene. I don't know if Magdalene, I want to pray very quickly. We have to pray for the sick. You are the covenant keeping God. you can Jesus. I decree and declare by the spirit of the living God I'm seeing your feet in mud in the name of Jesus I lift you out of this tragedy by the power of the Holy Spirit and I speak to this lady I'm seeing this lady but all I'm seeing is snakes completely I declare be free now by the spirit of the living God the Bible says now the Lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Be free right now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Let me pray for you, my dear. Grace for you. The favor that is on your life, I command it to start speaking. It will not only be a name that is on you. It will speak right now in Jesus' name. Your sister, your name is Magdalene. Come, in the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord bless you. Look at me. The Lord is taking away shame and reproach from your life. These two things. Shame and reproach. Shame and reproach. Shame and reproach. Please stand up. I speak to you by the God of heaven. The month of November, a big miracle is coming to your life. A big miracle. I lay my hands upon you and I declare in the name of Jesus, be free right now. Why is this girl here? This Magdalene? come my dear I pray for you place your hand on your head I declare oh God let this chain be taken now I'm seeing a chain on this girl's head be removed now be removed this like the devil wanting to just bring this lady under captivity I remove it right now 
in the name of Jesus Christ somebody lay your hands on her so anybody just touch her release her now by the Spirit of God there's no place for you take everything that belongs to her restore it and go now now please listen I want to minister deliverance please believe it you may not know the woman from Kenya come it's time for God to change your life please stand up when did you come here uh, yesterday yesterday yes. you came here God is about to turn your life around Amen. Glory. you are still coming and you are coming with four people the next time you are coming Amen. Thank you, Jesus. madam what do you do madam, what do you do I'm a commissioner for human rights commissioner for human rights yes. in Nairobi yes. in in two weeks I'm going to be in your nation I would like to see you Amen. your nation there is a reason why I'm talking I'm not seeing you alone I'm seeing four other people yes. that the Lord wants me to pray for yes. but I want to pray for you madam because I don't know if you believe it or not you have a political destiny as you are like this looking at me you have a political destiny in Kenya and God by his spirit is going to make this happen but another thing is there is also the call of God upon your life you are a woman that love God there is is starting like an intercessory grace and a prophetic grace but you will get to a point where among the graces God will give you is the grace to pray for barren women notice this grace God is going to bring this grace upon you God I'm also seeing you build a charity foundation there is going to be a mighty humanitarian foundation that I see you build I'm seeing foodstuff and I'm seeing different things first it will have to do with young girls people who have been abused and so on but I see it not only that I see women too women God is going to increase your influence I lay my hands upon you and I declare by the spirit carry this grace go to Kenya with it go and excel I command the two lift gates of Nairobi and the entire Kenya to be open for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ go with this anointing go and prosper may the Lord multiply your political career and may the Lord prepare you for the mighty ministerial assignment he has for you in the name of Jesus Christ I pray hallelujah praise the Lord an angel of the Lord is standing here someone will shout here under a strong anointing I just saw that grace I don't know first I think until the shout happens I know why God just from here right to the back there is an anointing I just saw a, a very mighty manifestation of the power of God here now listen whether you know it or not if there is anything influencing your, your destiny that is not of the Christ is about to give way right now. <laughs> Hallelujah. At the count of three, hear me. Whether you are inside, outside, or following online, I want you to shout that name Jesus with understanding. It's not just a chant. My Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower, not a weak tower. The righteous run it to it. And they are saved I want to pray for you I know you've shouted in other months but great deliverance great deliverance is about to come your way father I pray that every spirit in this place that does not name the name of the Christ that is sitting on the destinies of men and women manipulating their results I stand and call upon the God of Jeshurun the one that rides upon the wings and I declare let there be deliverance at the count of three shout that name Jesus one two three be free now be free now be free now please bring them out be free now overflow one overflow two overflow three all the extension online i declare be free now from ancestry be free from foundations be free 
from witchcraft. Bring them out. Paru salikata. Embreketete barata. Operations of darkness. I'm seeing a womb. Like the drawing of a woman's womb. And I'm seeing it close. It doesn't just mean physical barrenness. It means a spirit that is closing the door of results. Many people cannot get results. But right now that door is about to open. And I stand by the God of heaven. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Everyone's destiny that has been closed. So that it will not find manifestation. At the count of three. Let it be open. One. Two. Three. Be open now. 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 Surprise you. I command things to walk in a way. 
Mighty God. A few minutes we are going to pray for the sick now. Now please listen. I'm only going to do this for this overflow and overflow one. That's not to mean I'm neglecting the remaining. It's just a revelation that God is giving me. There are two angels standing by my left and my right. And every time I see this, God wants me to move. Listen, hear me. Except God is not God. When I pass any road where you are, anything that does not name the name of the Christ, and any dimension that is not of God in your life, it must give way. Now, I only do this for this and overflow one. Afterwards, we are going to pray for the sick. Please, I want you to just believe. I don't know why God does these things but I want you to believe that he is mighty and that he will glorify himself father in the name of Jesus Christ glorify yourself change everything that needs to be changed many of you will be receiving impartations that will shift you to dimensions I want you to believe it I will pray not everywhere but there are a few people I'm seeing this happen by the spirit Hali Shalatos Pragados Krekete Baratushla I shift you in the spirit every limitation that does not name the name of Christ I'm praying mantles anointings by the spirit coming on people right now let that presence of God shift you to dimension in the name of Jesus dimension I'm seeing a chain around here I break that chain now I'm seeing a chain around here let that chain be broken now let that chain be broken now let that chain be broken now break now break now break now Chains be broken now in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, God is turning your life around. Where are you coming from? Kaduna State. In the name of Jesus. Break now. In the name of Jesus. Be free now from everything that is not of God. Free now. Something is breaking here. Something is breaking here. Something is breaking here. Parush Ali Katosh. I break it now. I break it now. I break it now. I break it now. I break it now by the spirit of the living God. I break it now. Mama, I break it now. I break it now. sensing an evil spirit just around here I come against you now I take authority over that influence you must go now go now go now go now go now overflow one lift your voice and pray in the spirit Harusa Sigedesh now listen brother's keeper you don't have to touch me please be your brother's keeper so you don't enjoy yourself but as i pass here anything that is not of god is about to give way right now thank you jesus go now let it go now let it go now let it go now all times i come against you now in Spirit 
spirit of delay right here is breaking breaking over someone's family be broken now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus be broken now be broken now beauty and glory to your life in the name of Jesus now watch this listen hold on please hold on please I'm standing here and I'm seeing who is Rebecca Rebecca they call you Becky Rebecca just not inside here you are what's your name Rebecca don't worry it's okay what's your name don't just come out if in the name of Jesus Christ come I end oppression now over your life and your family oh, you, my dear your name is Rebecca where are you from you are from are you from Makodi Benway State in the name of Jesus I keep seeing this spirit every time I pray for people that thing they call Aleku A-L something K-U in the name of Jesus I cast that spirit by the God of heaven if there is anyone under the sound of my voice who is a victim of that spirit you are from that region I stand by the God of heaven let it come to an end now help them please let it come to an end now in the name of Jesus hold on please right here there is a gentle man who will be mightily used by God I just saw a strong mantle from my head resting on someone I stretch my hands Lord I don't know where they are Paruska Badu let that grace come on you now strange mantle prayer fire word fire illumination in the spirit receive that grace now receive that grace now Receive that grace now. I'm standing here and I'm seeing a family with a yoke of marital delay. I'm seeing something that looks like an arrow just coming from heaven. Right now, let deliverance come now. Let it come now. I'm still moving. The hand of God is coming to people right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Please, you don't have to touch me. In the name of Jesus, right here, financial stagnation comes to an end. An anointing is coming on someone for your family. Financial stagnation. Let it be over now. My dear, be free now. Out! Now! Someone here, the power of God is coming on that person. Be free now! Free! from everything that is not of God. New dimension. New dimensions. I'm seeing an anointing here. New dimension. The old story must leave you. That's what God is saying. I'm prophesying to someone here. The old story must leave you. The old is gone so that the new will come. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where is the woman? Wait, hold on please. I held someone's hand now. Holding a photo of a sick patient. Where is she? Come. Who is this? Where is he? He's in China. What's wrong with him? He's depressed now. If I don't pray for him, I'm seeing him inside a coffin. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, let there be deliverance for him now. What's his name? Ibrahim. This is not only something affecting him, this is something that is influencing the entire family. But I stand by the God of heaven and I set you free. In the name of Jesus, be completely free. And I speak to him, Ibrahim. May the power of God touch you and perfect you now and perfect you forever in the name of Jesus Christ I want to pray for the sick my friend this man looking at me come where are you coming from huh? you are from Kogi State what do you do are you a man of God you came here trusting God for fresh fire come you're about to receive it because I'm seeing you from Kogi State. 
you where is your church look at me sir where you have a church you are under a church mm. a time will come god will give you your own work now god is preparing you be faithful you will go but now is not the time if you leave now you will suffer for nothing are you hearing what i'm saying don't let sincere people come and push you out of the will of God. But surely a time is coming and you will walk in very strange dimensions of the anointing. Father, I lay my hands upon this man. Let his dealings with the spirit progress in the name of Jesus. Not only an impartation, a dealing that produces real power in the spirit. In the name of Jesus, may that grace rest upon you by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. This lady with green, this lady, you, come. The Lord is about to turn your life around in a way that will surprise you. Two things will happen to you. Number one, I'm seeing restoration. God is saying, I should tell you, he's bringing restoration. Number two, I'm seeing the gift of men. Please do listen to my message. Help them on the gift of men. God is bringing people strangely to lift you i lay my hands upon you and i pray may this grace be effectual carry that grace right now and you will start having visions visions god is going to start giving you dreams and he will start giving you visions in the name of jesus this is very strange what i'm seeing except that i saw it i will not say it stop running away from the call you are a man of god's wife now i'm, I'm, I'm saying what does not make sense stop running from the call you are the wife of a man of god a minister of the gospel the lord will bring performance to his word this thing i tell you is a strange mystery the way god works but in the name of jesus i place the word of god upon that prophecy it's time for you to not fight the will of god it's time for you to relinquish your own will in the name of jesus christ hallelujah praise the lord praise the lord we are going to pray just one prayer point the lord is asking me immediately we do that we'll pray for the sick and we'll start submitting our request where is that young lady that came out with one mama while i was praying for her there's a young lady that was wearing glasses i don't if if you are here you are the one what do you do you are going to be very wealthy come are you a lawyer Huh? This is your mother? Where are you coming from, mother? Okay, you are the reverse woman. This lady you see is going to be extremely wealthy. Because I'm seeing you a lawyer. And you are going to, you, I don't know what area of law you are going to specialize, but I'm seeing you sitting with so many business people. This is a lot of business people. Signing contracts, helping people to process a lot of things. Millions, huh? That's what? That's where she is right now. Doing some things abroad. She's what? That's what she's doing right now, where she works. That's what she's doing now. Right now, where she works. Because I'm seeing God will just cause them to like her. It's not every man that is a foolish and a stupid man. There are people who are out to genuinely bless. Yes, sir. And I pray for your daughter and I connect her by the Spirit. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. she will find these people. Amen. And in the name of Jesus, she will shift her to another dimension. Amen. Mama, God is saying I should tell you, forgive. Does it make sense to you? Yes, my husband also is a lawyer. But... Your husband is a lawyer? Yes, yes. What was the issue? Nothing is happening. Don't worry, ma. Do you know why you fell under the anointing? You fell on behalf of all the troubles in your... It wasn't just your personal falling alone. There are times that you fall representing all of these troubles. Because this is not what I'm even saying. God is saying I should tell you to forgive. Forgiveness. Now, it doesn't make sense. And God has not given me an interpretation. But let me tell you this. You see, look up. The average person seated here has been hurt by someone. Whether friends, are we together? Uncles, relatives, people you trusted and they betrayed you. Let me tell you something about unforgiveness. Unforgiveness is a terrible spirit. It's one of the master secrets to delay. Unforgiveness. It will keep you in one place forever. 
you are there angry and annoyed and most of what you'll be angry about is legitimate however you see forgiveness is a type of giving understand this forgiveness is still the, the giving grace that helps men to forgive the only thing with forgiveness is that you give in advance are we together the highest form of forgiveness is tolerance where you know it will happen again and you build a system around it to not hurt you we live in a society that is so hot conscious this one hurt me this one did this there are too many things that can create offense the bible says in nothing should you be offended it's a choice mama in the name of jesus please don't cry i don't know what it is and why you are crying but my dear comfort your mother after the prayer eh? in the name of jesus what is before you is greater than anything that has caused you pain and in the name of jesus forgive in the name of jesus forgive i also pray for someone here do you know there are many couples that have not been able to forgive one another in marriages it can last for 10 years 20 years same room same bed but that bitterness especially for the men we don't know that this might be the secret the bible says for dishonoring your wife the consequence is that your heavens will be closed it's not a lie that's why you see men struggle and struggle and simple things become hard because of the propensity for bitterness make up your mind in this miracle service that you will let go and not only forgive but tolerate i wish i can tell you there are some things your loved ones are doing that they will never do again but they will do it every time a door is about to open here offense comes it's a choice i will not be offended are we together father we pray for our daddy in the name of jesus the kind of miracle that god will do in the life of this man let it be so powerful that everybody around will know that this is the doing of the lord i decree it and i establish it in the name of jesus christ there is a gentleman here we are going to pray goodness you see how time just runs there is a gentleman here you are a member of mountain of fire where are you mountain of fire you are a serious brother mountain of fire now please I'm, I'm not just saying you attend don't listen to instructions please right mfm my friend you are serious you come from where mfm kano mfm kano how about yes, you Calabar. mfm calabar how about you lagos lagos i want to pray i'm not saying if you are from mfm just come out like that there are particular people it doesn't matter what denomination you are from once you are here huh this is a universal this is a master key it will complement on what every grace and every man and woman of god is doing but i want to pray for you my friend i i'm going i'm first going to pray for you where are you from i'm from a quiet bomb state there is serious witchcraft sitting on your destiny yes, i hope sir. you are not embarrassed yes sir yes sir huh? you need help you have prayed stand up please you are a prayer warrior you can pray you can do fasting huh? sometimes you just need a grace to help you you hear what i tell you i'm going to pray for you if i don't pray for you i'm seeing the spirit of death start sweeping people in your family like that like play like play until it starts killing people but let me tell you don't despise yourself you need a lot of mentorship but you are going to be a mighty vessel in the hand of god this brother you see is very serious with god huh very serious with god you just need the right support impartations and a mentorship system that makes for balance in your life hold my hand father what's your name huh anthony tony in the name of jesus everything that represents witchcraft i join my faith with that of your father and your leader dr daniel Odikoya, and i decree in the name of jesus be free now i decree by the power of the holy spirit the spirit of death far from your dwelling in the name of jesus christ i want to pray for you who is looking for a job uh -uh, I'm not saying...
I'm not unemployment. I'm talking to these guys that I am. Of course, I know that people are trusting God for jobs. Where did you apply? Huh? Kaduna State Service. The Lord says, I should pray for you that they will give you. Do I know you applied for a job? Stand up. Prophecy is powerful. In a moment, God can just change things like that. My dear, let me tell you this. It's not even the issue of Kaduna State Civil Service alone. Huh? God is going to give you unusual influence. It will marvel you. Are we together now? Hold my hands. You believe what I'm telling you? Yes. Father, confirm your word in a way that will surprise this lady. Let that rejected stone in the name of Jesus become the chief cornerstone. Receive of that grace in the name of Jesus. I speak it so. I make it so. I establish it by the power of prophecy. Let me pray for you. Gentlemen, I don't know if it's you or someone related to you, but there's someone God is giving a job. Someone looking for a job. But I want to pray for you. Father, you called out the gentlemen from MFM Kano and the remaining places. I decree and declare by the God of heaven that everything that represents witchcraft in your life, let it give way now. In the name of Jesus, let it give way now. Even by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Lord is showing me a lady. I'm not going to ask you to come. God bless you. But I'm lifting up my hand. I'm seeing, you know how you cover a bride when you are about to marry? Before they remove that thing from her face. This is what I'm seeing. But that one is not bride of wedding. This is evil. Covering your entire, a human being with almost no head. Huh? And the Lord is saying, I should pray that that veil be torn. I don't know who that person is. But right now, the power of God is going. There, there, there are many of you I perceive. In the name of Jesus, that veil that has covered you so that no good thing finds you by the God of heaven and in the name of Jesus, the Christ of God, I declare that veil torn into pieces now. Torn into pieces now. Inside, outside, online. Torn into pieces now. The last case I attend to and then we'll begin to pray for the sick. Nothing ever lasts in your hand. This is the problem you are trusting God for. In fact, it's one of your requests. Nothing. Many good things continue to happen, but they never last. If a, if a season of open door comes, three, four months, sometimes men can come into your life or women can come into your life and after two three months for reasons you cannot explain you have never sustained any blessing for up to two years as it comes you will see it sometimes you will go to bed in the night and you will have a dream you may see someone come maybe to molest you or to attempt to have an affair with you this is what i'm seeing the moment that thing happens it will not be up to one month and every good thing goes down but i'm praying right now in the name of jesus whoever belongs to this category every attachment you have with spirits that are not of the christ that warrant visitations in the night to molest and oppress you and spy into your liberty i declare by the spirit of god be free now be free now help them please be free now be free now my dear come you come hold my hands it's your it's a new season for you by the anointing of the holy ghost step into a new season i've touched you i saw you climbing a ladder in the spirit i release you into that dimension in the name of jesus christ we have to hurry up and pray for the sick now now please watch this this lady jumping shame and reproach i call it by his name and i command it to leave you now shame and reproach 
to leave you and let you go in the name of Jesus someone will run by the anointing to me don't stop the person just hold the person this is what I'm seeing by the spirit this is a ministry of signs and wonders why these things I'm not saying to run consciously I'll send you back this is by the anointing please there is order in the house of God order in the church are we together the, the hand of God now as I speak is coming upon you my soul longs and even thirst for you my heart and my flesh cries out for the living god for the living god incline your ears with trembling and tears of yearning to the throne of grace to seek your face i'm burning longing for you I declare to all of you that came out by the spirit i shift you go forward now go forward now the power that holds you down i take authority over it in the name of jesus go forward now i release your families to go forward now in the name of jesus now please hear me our time is gone we have to be fast now listen for those who will be laying hands on you don't think that because it is not joshua selman laying hands on you remember i told you that there is a grace that everyone who is called to serve in this ministry and designated and mandated carries that grace we're about to pray for the sick now now listen please there are three conditions that i will want to minister lay hands on the people myself remember don't tell lies you cannot come to the truth lying are we together don't insist that i just want joshua selman to touch that's not the idea aside from those who are in the main auditorium that i request to come out if you're trusting god for a miracle if you are here and you are suffering from cancer number one number two you are suffering from hiv number three you are suffering from barrenness it doesn't matter what overflow you are in if you have any of these three cases please with those who are in the main auditorium i want you to join them and come otherwise please all the overflows move to your projector screen and stand there all as directed by the ushers or protocol anyone trusting god for to be prayed for for healing right now i want you to make your way to the front quickly and then in addition to that the three cases i've mentioned you come into the main auditorium and join please quickly we have to hurry up overflow one please walk to your projector stand overflow two i don't know from where now as directed walk to your projector stand overflow three walk to your projector stand um my god i don't know if there's overflow to be then just walk as you are directed somebody should stand in front of them and direct them appropriately please overflow four um also just move to your projector stand or as directed those online following from whatever nation of the world just connect by faith as we pray hallelujah now please watch this our time is gone and we are going to be doing this very fast listen please if you are here and you are yet to write your prayer request per adventure you are coming for the first time and you need an opportunity to write your prayer request please someone help them with a piece of paper or whatever it is that you will need everyone you can pen down your prayer request now when you're done please lift it and there will be ushers PR help them protocol help them whoever needs to help them let's make it very fast overflow one two three those online i believe that theirs has also been collated 
we're going to have everything now so that as soon as we are done we'll pray for the request the moment you are done please wave it or pass it to the person um, at the aisle where it can be picked give them room to write if you need a piece of paper you can help your friend or wave your hand Praise the Lord. Thank God we have some hands tonight. Um, Pastor Jakes and Ejimi will do overflow three. Since there will be several people there, overflow three. They'll be ministering to overflow three. Benga will go to overflow one. Promise overflow one, two. Um, Kenny overflow two. Two A now. Uh, two A or two B. Praise the Lord. Isaac overflow two B. Praise the Lord. Ima overflow. Overflow what now? What is left? Huh? Overflow. The last overflow. Where overflow four? Okay. No overflow. To be go to overflow four. Praise the Lord. It will have to be a very quick walk because there are several people. I'll minister to the people here. Praise the Lord. Now please listen. Please except they want to talk to you prophetically don't worry listen just a touch is all that you need and i want you to believe by faith as soon as they touch you do what you couldn't do head back to your seat unfortunately because of the limited time we may not have time to take testimonies as you would have seen in many of my external ministrations for two reasons one this is a miracle service dedicated to ministering to people if we we'll pray and say if you are healed come out it will take a lot of time we don't have that luxury of time praise the lord so we are doing three things at the same time one we are praying for the sick has promised prom okay pastor alpha oh uh who is in overflow one only you two of you okay pastor alpha join them in overflow three pastor femi uh-huh he pastor femi should go to did I give you a place? Pastor Femi, join um, Overflow 2. 2B. Two okay, with, with Ima now. 2B or 4. You are in 2. Only you. Okay, so um, Femi, please join him in Overflow 4. Overflow 4. Praise the Lord. Just direct them. Father, in the name of Jesus, we stand by this corporate grace. And we declare, let there be miracles right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Please write your requests, believing. The worship team will lead us through a time of worship while we are doing this. It will be very fast. Afterwards, I will just pray and prophesy to everyone. And then we'll try to tie it up tonight. But whilst you are sitting, make sure you connect by faith. You can involve your loved ones. Let them know that God is moving right now. He's blessing people. Lord, we give you all the praise. Let there be great miracles by the Spirit of God. In Jesus' name I pray. Praise the Lord. Thank you for your patience. Please rise up on your feet. 
if they are still praying for you where wherever whatever overflow don't worry just just hang on there please stretch your hands to this request as we pray I'd like you to open your mouth and begin to declare by the Spirit unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come please lift your voice everyone let's have all the requests here please if there are people who are yet to submit I'd like you to stretch your hands to these requests as you declare that these Egyptians that I see today, I see no more forever. Lord, turn impossible situations around in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, release miracles, release solutions, break yokes, oh God. Turn around family situations for your name's sake. Reveal callings, reveal destinies. Let your people find purpose. Let your people find direction. Make sure you are praying. Lord, stay the power of darkness over the requests of your people. In the name of Jesus hallelujah please agree with me in the name of jesus amen. louder amen in the name of jesus amen. father tonight we come to you the god that can answer prayers and lord i decree standing in the presence of your people thousands of people have submitted their requests a representation of their expectations their pain their disappointments their anticipations lord i decree and declare that every spirit that is back of these problems we declare lose your grip now lose your grip now number two I declare that every grace that needs to be released towards you for these requests to be granted by the message of the God of heaven we decree and declare by faith we channel these graces to you every human agent whose mind needs to be touched by God to allow these requests to be answered in the name of Jesus, we call on the Father of Spirits to touch them on that wise. And every request that remains because of the hardness of the hearts of men, we break that hardness now. Father, answer speedily. Lord, answer speedily. Turn situations around. Every death sentence represented in this request, we declare that death sentence is cancelled. In the name of Jesus. And so, Father, we give you praise because we declare by faith, the very faith of the Son of God, that these requests are met in Jesus' name. As I stand upon these requests, I declare by the spirit of faith that in the mighty name of Jesus, that which God has done now remains permanent in Jesus name and I prophesy over you by the God of heaven the Egyptians that you see today that pursued you from Egypt to the Red Sea and beyond I declare by the spirit you will see them no more forever no matter how long you have been in Egypt if you go out of Egypt, no going back. In the name of Jesus. Between now and the next three weeks, may the God of heaven, in the name of Jesus, 
21 days was the maximum time of contention in the realm of the spirit i decree and declare it will not exceed three weeks and every request that has been released already but has been hijacked by men and systems i mount pressure on those men and systems to allow this request manifest i mount pressure on those systems allow this request manifest let it be so in the name of jesus give jesus praise hallelujah i'm going to declare the last prophetic word over everyone here please i like you to be sensitive don't be careless about it hallelujah please they can come and pick it i believe in the power of prophecy the spoken word is also creative it can make things happen it not only reveals what will happen it makes things that has no business happening to happen in the name of jesus christ i declare over you please hear me by the God of heaven, every door that has been closed over your destiny, I stand here as the servant of the living God. I force that door to open now. Everyone trusting God for a job, a meaningful job, not a nonsense job that does not have honor. I pray now. A job that will not take your relationship away from God. A job that will not make you compromise. Receive that job in the name of Jesus. I pray for your spiritual life. The kind of fire that you need on your prayer life in this season. I speak over you. Receive fresh fire. Access. To revelation access to light receive it in jesus name every helper of your destiny who must show up in this season to make the word of god to come to pass i command them to appear now I preached last week on the book of remembrance let me pray that prayer in the name of Jesus I open the book both in the heavens and in the earth and I declare every good thing you have done to any man on earth I compel remembrance now I compel remembrance now every kind of barrenness biological barrenness financial barrenness career barrenness ministerial barrenness i cause it now and i command it to leave you let me pray over the spirit of death any family here appointed unto death i speak by the god of heaven be free now number two every family appointed unto hardship that you will never see the goodness and the salvation of the lord i cancel that pronouncement now listen by the blood of the eternal covenant in the name of jesus i cause every foundational issue that causes hardship and pain and retrogression over your life now the kind of honor you have never seen in your life I speak to you by the Spirit step into it let me pray for favor I will never stop praying this prayer till you carry it bodily access to the hearts of kings access to the resources of kings receive it now by favor restoration of visions dreams listen 
there are many of you who used to have dreams and encounters nothing crosses over you without your eyes seeing it but it looks like you are becoming like eli your eyes becoming dim i pray for you i fan back your vision to flames in the name of jesus every pattern that is in any family you see it in your siblings you see it in your life i declare let it be broken now anyone in ministry here please hear me i speak to you as you return back to your various stations let fire fall upon your altar i pray for everyone in business dying business dead business let it come back to life now please don't just say amen believe creation is happening everything god showed you from the beginning of this year and told you should have entered your hand by now but the devil is adding 30 extra years to your 400 years i push you by prophecy in the name of jesus christ hear me i speak to you by the god of heaven any man that fights you goes down instantly and anyone holding what is yours and has vowed not to release it in the name of jesus may god humble the pride of wicked men anyone who has said over my dead body for this family to move may god answer their prayers i open the door of favor towards every family here in the name of jesus all our ladies and all the women that are due to give birth i declare give birth like the hebrew women in the name of jesus let me pray for all the gentlemen our time is gone but i must pray for you the grace that establishes a man early may that grace rest on you for those of you who are still 30 years 35 40 50 still loitering your parents house eating your mother's food not just as honor but as a necessity in the name of jesus by the god who is the lifter of men i declare may that reproach live your life now anyone here called barren in jesus name by november miracle service you come here pregnant already let me pray for every ministry here every prayer group every platform intercessory groups churches fresh grace for you in the name of jesus christ the final prayer i'm going to pray for you honor is what makes men reward you listen 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 honor is the ability to discern the ability to celebrate and the ability to reward men for their uniqueness you can be as anointed as anything but when honor is not on you men will only just celebrate you from afar but you will never live a rewarded life i pray the prayer that jabez cried unto god for the bible says and jabez was more honorable than his brethren i pray for you everywhere you find yourself rise above your contemporaries let me pray the last prayer point don't say it's not important there are people here your life is not advancing the kingdom in any way this is not altar call 
this prayer for you to settle down and let your life advance as far as God is concerned you are time on earth if your life does not find a space to advance the kingdom not your work not your service not your worship it looks like nothing about your life there is no kingdom come represented in your life you are just living for yourself hand to mouth to marry have children maybe go to school get a job i redirect your focus now in the name of jesus christ may your life and everything involved around it cause the kingdom the power and the glory of god to be manifest in the name of jesus and every other request here whether mentioned or not i stand in agreement with you in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god receive it as a testimony in the next one minute whether you are in overflow one two three or here you are yet to make jesus lord of your life genuinely please no movement and or you are saying apostle i've handed my life over to jesus but for some reason things have just scattered around my life and i don't seem to gain any footing and bearing and i want to make my way right with god please whether you are in overflow one overflow two the main auditorium aside from overflow three please i'd like you to run like there's fire on the mountain and come and stand here right now koinonia celebrate them don't wait for anyone to come first quickly if you're coming please come and stand come and stand apostle i'm not sure if i'm saved or not join them quickly join them quickly koinonia is this the best you can do join them quickly scripture says you must be born again if you're coming from outside please make it snappy make it as fast as possible hallelujah i salute every one of you here please lift your right hand believe that jesus is here standing before you gentlemen and ladies please join them very quickly if you're coming please come quickly 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 you're coming come very quickly thank you now say this after me say it passionately say it truthfully believing that jesus is here and he will honor your confession of faith say after me lord jesus tonight i believe that you are the son of god i believe that you died for me i believe that you rose again for my justification tonight I ask you to be my Lord, my Savior, and my King. I receive eternal life into my spirit. I receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness. And I declare that from tonight and forever, I move forward ever, backward never these three ladies didn't pray the prayer somebody direct them and let them pray that prayer the prayer is already finished you this yellow girl and those two those my sisters or shall any of you are you not christians direct them someone pray the prayer with them in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare right now begin to walk in victory in jesus name i introduce you to the ministry of the holy spirit you will know him you will walk in his ways you will command strange results in your life in the name of jesus christ i call you tonight the righteousness of god i call you that you are part of the family of heaven in the name of jesus all of the people who are just coming you're welcome god bless you just join that group that they are praying with and just pray the prayer that they lead you to pray in the name of jesus christ lord jesus thank you for these precious ones that you died for I decree and declare that tonight you receive by faith the abundance of grace the gift of righteousness and I declare that you reign in life go forward ever and backward never in Jesus name I pray amen and amen God bless you all of you in concert I want you to follow the lady smiling at you with her hands lifted everyone please follow her 
and um, they will direct you to a few people to just follow you up. Praise the Lord. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.